Today is February the 17th, 2024. Uh, every time, whenever I move forward with whatever the hell I do, and today I'm actually using even uh, what I should have used already is a backup audio recorder. See the video here that you see here, it really costed me tremendous amount of nerves, time, because <coughs> Slovenian police <coughs> stolen about 70% of the SD cards I purchased and left me with just shit, basically. It didn't leave me with probably two good SD cards that I purchased. Every SD card that arrived from China was scratched, old items involved from MKUltra, uh, cards that, based on a benchmark, as I video recorded the stuff, how it all worked, did not perform anywhere near to what was advertised. Uh, and I would say, well, you know, those cards are fake cards. There are all kinds of cards they sell and so on and so forth. But this cards, this cards was uh, scratched. These cards were, you could see like it was like, I don't know, like they would be waiting in some place for a very, very long time. It did not appear like new cards. Whatever they have done to them. Uh, and so it was exactly the way you see with this video here. I have video recorded on February the 25th. It is listed with Google, with the blogger, is under the January 24th, but this is just because I uploaded it after midnight. So you can see the date right there, January 25th. One of the best videos I have recorded maybe even the best video because of the facts I ignored at large when recording these videos. I did not understood what really my job was. Uh, this was like one of the first videos that I managed to depict somewhat only, somewhat the circumstances behind the purchase of this watch here that you see here is the watch that I ordered on January the 7th of 2024, right? And so I was hunting basically for a watch, as you see right there, not for the items I got. Uh, luckily for me, however, really luckily for me, uh, and contrary to the issues I suffered in the past, you know, this time I lost two or three days maybe trying to fix this video. I was definitely certain that somehow I'm going to manage to restore this video, uh, that I somehow will get sound out of it because a, a, a half of the video comes with a sound. 37 days ago in Ljubljana, you see, and another half of it is missing sound. Yeah, but contrary to the previous experiences, I was driven insane. Exactly accordingly to the MK Ultra torture. What exactly that means? They demonstrated to me how I would repair the videos, how I would restore the videos back. They demonstrated to me how I would, uh, how I would restore audio, how I would all kinds of tricks. They demonstrated to me knowing that I wouldn't be capable to do absolutely any of them. It got a lot to do with this computer for which five other computers, new computers included, were destroyed, vandalized, stolen, replaced with, as purchased as new with garbage and so on. 
So it would be exactly accord. This is what the British royals, this is what the British royals and European autocrats such as Ursula von der Leyen, Brussels, you know, let's say Strasbourg, where the human rights courts is located, so called human rights court of the European Union is located. I oh, this shit is fucking nasty, man. I don't like to to discuss these issues. Hopefully this video is going to be my last video because, you know, I took a great effort, really, really great effort to seal the deal even with what became audio recordings that I took time to literally put the audio recordings online, like from January to February the 15th, like two days ago, I posted this shit on. Uh, and, you know, I just want to make sure that, that somebody would not have any kind of way in and out or something eh, 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 like, you know, I want to make sure that I exceed the expectations of the criminals who, just as is a case of teaching me on how to repair the videos, on how to repair the videos, have taught me basically what I should record, the video record, and how I should gather the proofs. You know. It's not that they would do this kind of stuff to suggest to the police, to the judge, oh, well, you know, we actually tutored him, you know. <laughs> we are police officers. We tutored him. No, no, no. This is not. This is because I'm mentally retarded, and I needed somebody to tutor me on how basically the stuff is done. That's why that is. Um, you probably realized my not being happy with this stuff, the stuff that I stressed you out already, uh, should, when considering the degree of crime, scare the shit out of you. Uh, this house became in a parenthesis, haunted house, once I completed education for a mechanic, before I even became mechanical engineer technician, police began to barricade itself inside of this house. Sometimes in 1986, as basically I was age like 16, 17, when they, when they started to do this stuff by destroying me watches, that time was Casio watches and stuff like that, uh, nothing fucking lasted, nothing lasted. Uh, and it was just a prelude into complete destruction, which I even at one point believe I would avoid once Slovenia became an independent state. In 91, I was, I was totally, totally wrong. Uh, this form of criminality enforced by Central Intelligence Agency and British MI5 and Germans, foremost Germans here in Europe. It was foremost for the Germans' sake. Beginning in my childhood, early childhood with nine months, wasn't going to stop even when Slovenia became an independent state. It has status that the so-called Yugoslav Udba had the notorious words to me on, you know, how it was all, you know, Udba, Yugoslavia and so on, lost its fucking meaning with Slovenian politicians Janis Janša, Igor Baucer, Loise Peterle, uh, entire demos, entire uh, Franz Bocar. Let's never forget Franz Bocar. Let's never forget the clowns that claimed were the one deserved for Slovenian independence. Let's never forget the scum that went ahead and pressed the green button to the Central Intelligence Agency for more abuse, for more crime, for more extermination, genocide against me, once Slovenia became independent. Now, British royals did really outstandingly with this stuff because they even managed to destroy my American citizenship. 
Soon as I got my American citizenship, before so, they appeared in Miami, in the United States of America. And what literally come to visit me in the store, MK Ultra rampaged throughout Miami, throughout the United States, Canada, and would insist me that I should just return home for my own sake, fast as possible, exact words they repeated from Vladimir Putin, from the KGB, which, together with the Slovenians, would engage in a physical, not torture, but destruction, right here in this house, in this Novomaster city where I was hijacked by the Central Intelligence Agency, beginning 1995 when I arrived to the United States of America. But about like 13 years during, during my entire state in the United States and or stay throughout the Western Europe, Sweden, Norway, especially Norway. That was like ultra violent. Probably the most violent country in Europe was exactly Norway. Uh, Germany where I filed for uh, political asylum in Austria, and so on and so forth. Uh, this video drove me insane. Insane, insane, insane. And in a certain way, I'm actually even glad that the video is without the audio recording. I have already compensated partially for this video. There's just no fucking video that does not come through here regardless of how much effort I placed in it. And as I stated, this was one of the best videos. More knowledge was involved in this video than in other, any other video so far I have audio recorded. It, it's one hour and 52 minutes long, and it really, at my biggest disappointment, it totally sucks to note that the video was just... Uh, it was trashed. It hurt me so badly. But on the other hand, the video that I would present it you with on a January the 25th was really, really a subject to a heavy, heavy, in fact, I'm going to say like a super, super, super heavy manipulation. Um, the first video, as I stated, is the video that I discuss what I should have done in other videos and I have not, the background of the crime. It's very difficult to discuss the background of the crime due to degree, due to amount of crime. It's not easy just to go out there and say, oh, no, 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 no. You know how long what you see right there in front of you took place, this shit here? This one here, this here that you see, this stuff here, this stuff, the stuff that you watch here, nine years of this nine years, it was six years of brainwash involved in what you see right there. Actually, what you see right there is not just the product of what you see right there. But it's a product of also other items that I ordered, and they all blend into delivery of this watch. Because the whole crime that you see was not about concentrated only on this issue here, but it diversified on many other issues involving, when I come back to this watch, it's hard to understand, involving also... This item, if I want to say also this item, also this item, because they knew that this is going to be like the most uh, challenging item. It's fucking challenging. When I break you 30 watches, when I steal, when I steal, when I break you, when I steal you, 30 watches, it's fucking challenging. You can trust me, when I destroy you, 
absolutely every watch in your life. And you can add another 10 to this. So we're going to round around 40 watches. It becomes challenging. It becomes challenging item. Everything becomes really challenging. If I destroy you, as you're about to see, if I destroy you items in the form the way they did, everything becomes challenging. These are just fucking basic items. This is the same shit like I would go and start to fuck with you. Enter your home and destroy your, let's say, combs and toothbrushes. And destroy your, let's say, razor blades. And destroy your, freak, like on a frequent basis. And destroy absolutely every aspect of your life. And you would start to lose even energy to fight back. What psychiatrist Peter Kopp hoped for. Uh, I would enter a state of mind which would simply block my mind from even continuing due to ongoing abuse. I'm not going to say what they anticipated they would accomplish with this. I think it's pretty clear when you do the stuff like this to somebody for 52 years, 52 years, then you understand, I'm sure, that... This is not a kikiriki. This is not to uh, tease somebody or to bullshit somebody like you say at home or um, pull somebody for the nose, uh, screw somebody or something like that. It's about way, way beyond these issues. So my having presented you the issue, uh, the first thing I want to demonstrate to you because this is going to be the video. I'm going to try to do my best to. The video is one hour and 52 minutes long. I am not sure if I'm going to end it up today, this video, within three hours, next three hours. I'm going to have to postpone again, visit to my father uh, at home for elderly people. But it's going to be all worth it. Because this also will be the last video I will video record. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Eventually, I will launch the police complaints based on what you see. Not only here, but other items that police have stolen, vandalized, etc., etc., etc. You know, once I'm done doing that kind of stuff... Once I'm done filing this kind of complaint, an investigation is going to take place. I will continue to record. Don't get disappointed. We have to record probably about at least, I estimate, to get at least somewhat idea about what went on, another 100 videos, which are going to be each about two hours long. And by that time, I'll probably get somebody who's going to walk with me, ask questions, and um, basically give me some guidance on what to concentrate when I talk to you about important issues. Because this is how these interviews are made, basically by giving uh, pre-interviews, pre-talk, uh, create base, which is summarized in questions with which whoever... The interviewer is already acquainted with more or less what the answers would be and so on. So that's going to be about 100 that's going to be just concerned this home here, this place here. This was not a hunted house. This was far beyond hunted house issues. This was about... Issues for which psychiatrist Peter Kopsch was absolutely certain there is no fucking way I possibly could. And yeah, I mean, when I when he had me and in front of a computer and I just realized every time I take this step further, like today, I'm using a microphone actually to audio record with this laptop. Uh, not laptop, but today I'm using it to do this for the telephone because of exact the issue that I presented you with, which further translates that, in fact, police knew 
not only about this laptop having problems with the microphone, like I said, there was five laptops that were stolen, uh, replaced with garbage, uh, destroyed, vandalized, no less than What is it? Four of them new? It's new tablets. One, two, three, four. I, I don't even know anymore. I don't even keep track of this shit anymore. I already uh, uh, e machines, Hewlett Packard, um, <clears throat> a tablet that I ordered was um, replaced with some kind of garbage. Um, new, we're talking about new, um, Fujitsu from Poland, that's four of them, is it like more? Yes, it is, it's more, it's the fifth one, which is also purchased as new, uh, taken to the police station just so once I have sold one since police have not found anything wrong with it the parts even did not were replaced the buyer told me with some totally other parts um, completely completely fucked up the whole thing I don't know what to tell you and so it goes you know you pay 500 euros, 400 euros or whatever, and then you take it to the police and then you sell it for, I was actually even lucky, the guy was actually quite generous who purchased the laptop from me, I have to say that, and so on and so forth. And so it's just, it's just, just money flying, basically, this is the way it goes. Um, five of them, no less. When in Belarus, dude, even shoes were fucking stolen that I bought, that I ordered from the internet. And what I was told during MK Ultra by Slovenian police, they were redistributed to the other asylum applicants. That is pretty fucking insane. But this is enough said. Like I said, at least 300 items. And I'm 100% that once I'm going to go and start to count how many items I purchased through the internet, and the number is going to be much greater. In the Budapest, bam, 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 it's called the free parking lot, man. You park the fucking car, the car is gone. The next thing you do, you come. Mama did actually send the neighbor to the Budapest to pick up the car. You know, delivered the car here and the car was all fucking hammered too because I guess I suppose that a theft from the free parking lot it, it was just simply it was just not enough uh, so you pay another 1000 euros to get the fucking car out of the uh, where they pawned the cars uh, how do you say that uh from the towing company and so on and so forth so it's right that's like the british way the british the greater than great britannia the central american agency sia oh we're gonna fucking show you the free world now you're in a fucking free world now you are inside of the european union now you became american citizen yeah this is the way we do it this is the way it was done actually this is the way it was done. That watch that you have seen is a hot item, especially to me, because it came through the Hungary. And in beginning of 2015, it was now King Charles that would hijack me to the Budapest, where he would subject me to the torture in front of the Hungarian postal services, as well as in front of Hungarian politicians. Then he found his way it doesn't matter where he then or before, always, since from forever, he delivered me to Slovenia, where he would start 
his stuff using Slovenian politicians to stress me to stress me what they are going to do to me and so on, how it's gonna be how they are going to fuck me. So uh you know British are in the need to demonstrate the world that it's just like Slovenian police officers stated me here, there's criminals here from Novo Mesto. They stated me uh those those they refer to them as those that make families simply die some whatever in some other parts of the world those that make families simply die you know the truth is that it fucking matters not if it's those even that king charles now uh, have greatly uh, associate himself with the Milan coach and with the Vladimir Putin and so on. It doesn't fucking matter if it's those that make families die. It doesn't fucking matter. It's enough that you get involved in it. You take absolutely no responsibility, as the case was his case. Uh, and the rest, it's the people like they ethnically cleansed in uh, Ukraine, or they butchered people in Butch or whatever it is that in Ukraine, throughout Ukraine, these maniacs that kill people just for the joy, they do the job for you. You don't have to move your fucking finger. They do the job for you instead. So, you know, it's just enough that you give them a fucking alibi is what I'm trying to say. You don't even have to do it. They do it for you. But still, it's your fault. Don't ask me fucking Miami, right? It's not here in Slovenia. Nor is Belgium, nor is Germany, nor is Norway, nor is Canada, where I applied for political asylum, etc., etc. So let's go. We're going to continue. Like I said, one thing I like about this video is that it fucked me. Uh, in fact, that half of the video is without voice like i said i lost three days it was one of the best videos i have audio recorded and i have eventually even failed to use uh, a stupid backup recorder to get this job done um and i said one thing i like about it the, the pain is enormous now in this business if you don't like pain you're fucking dead you will not make it through if you don't get used to pain and suffering and getting fucked, you're never going to make it through. In other words, you're dead. You're dead buried. You're dead walking man. That's when you're dead walking man. This is not about hope dies last. This simply is about... Thou shalt not rely upon the hope because the hope will kill you. You understand? It gets fucking realistic. Why I like this shit? I'm not going to tell you anymore why I hate one. I like one because of what I earlier mentioned to you were numerous scenarios, numerous combinations, numerous crime combinations. Involved in this garbage. This guy earned a lot of money. He didn't have nothing other better to do than to follow his criminal pattern. which was based on nothing other than violence, abuse and violence. And he became 100% in fact that by repeating and doing this to me, which I really, I have to say, he did. This shit went on for 49 years. It started when I was nine months old. He was certain I stand no fucking chance. Examining myself, Taking into account my own mental health during the torture, which I was doing, 
all along. I, um, when they presented me with uh, insane issues, whenever they presented me with, uh, with issues that would actually cause, you know, <laughs> uh, that issues that appear that I'm beyond death, basically. I started to examine quietly, silently, I started to examine my mental health status. Basically, checking at how much psychological harm the issues that he was doing would do to me, because this stuff ran parallel to a total exhaustion. One, two, three, four, five, whatever fucking day, one month, two months, sleep deprived. Getting fucking sleep every second day, suffering cardiac arrest, getting injections, literally, to beat to beat cardiac arrest during anti-cardiac procedures, and listening to the cretin, listening to the idiot that was giving me his background on how he's gonna fuck me, on what am I gonna, why am I to expect, and so on, being guided throughout the city with postal office. As the, yeah, it was more involved than police building. It was more crime that went on at the postal office than at the police. Far more. It was the second most involved building was the building was a government postal office where I go to pick up the packages from. Was the building in the city of Novomesto, Posta, Slovenia. I think it's Novitar Kordani Turk Seven. Sedem, Novomesto, the one I already demonstrated you, uh, that was the thing that where they would do all kinds of stuff, some of which I'm going to also discuss today, in particular in this very coin. Before I get on with this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and give you another background of this watch for which Prince Charles created all kinds of scenarios. Uh, do you know how this crime started in respect to this watch? He demonstrated to me a watch. Talking about now King Charles. Uh, he paid a very close attention, just a psychiatrist Peter Kopsch would, to whether I like this watch or not. Once he learned, once he realized, you know, this is what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch was doing, he was looking at me very closely, but just to see, to note how much psychological harm, how much psychological pain, suffering he managed to cause with his dark scenarios. Um, he was not the only psychiatrist involved in it. And it's interesting to note that psychiatrist Tatiana Proxel would write on her reports uh, issues such as, um, if I can properly recall this, uh, dark dreams, dark dreams, you know, dark dreams. Um, hmm. I already explained to you that there were people used would literally volunteer themselves, including the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, tested on himself, I understand. Nurse Yanko was, this is at least what I was told, would volunteer on a few occasions to see just how much psychological damage through the torture can be done to the human when dealing with this kind of issues. Um, they, this stuff was before they would they would start to do this stuff. Re-examined everything, everything, everything was performed by the police. Everything is enforced in this world. Everything investigation, everything is also done by the police. So uh, these people provided absolutely everything, including testing on themselves to see to get the maximum. To cause the maximum harm, to 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 cause as much damage as possible. If you have not watched, I warmly advise you. I warmly 
for your own sake, not for my sake. Why they would do the stuff like this? Why, what's going on? What the British royals wanted to accomplish with this kind of stuff? I explain in details nicely. I pinpoint, I point out nicely, explain, absolutely, I explain nicely, I explain why they would do the stuff like this. It wasn't for love. In this video here, I repeat again something I already have explained very well, what the issue was with the British royals in respect to what exactly they wanted to accomplish through this type of free uh, commercial they anticipated I would provide for them uh, simply next to the mainstream media coverage they get uh, through all kinds of media coverages they get uh, it also or is they also reserved something uh, that also pertains to the such a greatest and great families and it's also a space for mentally ill people to criticize. And this is that, that kind of coverage the British royals wanted from me. They chose me to be their mentally ill clown, which they would use to, um, to get the type of coverage, the type of attention, uh, obviously, that, you know, that they deserve because you know this is what this this is what they wanted this this is what they wanted to get. I'm not sure if they got that. I think they got a whole more than uh, what they anticipated they would get. I think that there is a lot of blue under those glasses these days that you see right there, those sunglasses. Uh, but they asked so they asked for it, they begged for it. And uh, that's what they got, pretty much. Why would they do that? This is basically why. This is why they do this kind of stuff. Uh, folks, get ready for another three hours. Brutal stuff. The second thing, next to the audio recordings that I demonstrated to you, clarify, is already the first, uh, the continuation I'm going to make in respect to my statement when I said, I'm not going to even say in a way that it was that I'm lucky that I have not uh, that I've not that the video failed. I'm not going to even I'm not going to even uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to try to justify that. I'm just going to say that fuck that. I am lucky. You will be lucky too, just like me, if you will learn to make, even if you are damaged and whatever happens to you, uh, if you're going to develop the attitude that you will continue to use during suffering losses, literally. This is all the stuff that was heavily negotiated, the human character. Stuff I'm talking to, it was like, let's say, Nurse Yanko that would be that I would indicate this exactly the same attitude to him, to psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, and I noticed immediately that it was their brain that started to curl, that started to... that they started to... <whistles> Mr. Twister, as psychiatrist Peter Kopsch referred to himself, he was a Mr. Twister. Uh, they started to get brain fucked, just by declining to demonstrate weakness, just by declining to see damage as a damage during MK Ultra. This was already like one of the worst. If they couldn't get that pain, they were looking like, you know, to see and video record, you know, how they're going to cause you emotional pain and stuff like that. Probably might have been even paid based on that kind of stuff. I heard the psychiatrist Peter Kafsch would literally get from Slovenian government a clientele, psychiatric clientele, mental patients, number of them, so that he could charge for it his private uh, business that he has office. Uh, already that kind of, if they if they would not and 
on top of that, if I would go and even ridicule them or something like that, that was like, for them, it was like mind-blowing shit. It was mind-blowing shit. If you will develop that kind of attitude, and you can do it. Anybody can get that stuff done. They, they're going to tell you all kinds of issues. Like they told me, well, you know, uh, they use like beautiful women suggesting me, you know, uh, this is just a material thing. It's just a material thing. No, you will not upset. You will not get upset with anything because this is just a material thing. And that's just material thing. And you buy the watch, they break you the watch, it's just a material thing. And you buy a certain cable. I found this one today. Is knife nicely. It's just a material thing. They destroy that, it's just a material thing. This is just a material you will easily do because it's just a material thing. That's not true. When they tell you stuff like that, it's not true. You spend time, uh, energy to find your items. Uh, you use your brain to make selection. You lose your money and so on. It's even of your sentimental value to you. And they will be destroying you absolutely everything, God forbid. Uh, you have to find not something that is based on a sadism. They give you all kinds of scenarios. Like they're going to offer you like a how to think in most rational way so that you would suffer like the least uh, psychological harm, damage. Those scenarios are now worded fucking shit. If you're going to start to think the way they provide the answers, the, the channel, the way you, the way they want, you're going to end up next day on a fucking police station uh, attacking somebody or doing something. Basically, you're going to harm yourself. Uh, they're going to fucking kill you or whatever. You understand? Because this is the whole thing. That's what this is all about. Psychiatrist Peter Kops was trained by the Central Intelligence Agency, by Americans, and he was trained by the Royal Psychiatric Association from London so that he would have how he would want this to be viewed, pursued, and so on. He was literally trained on what to uh, emit, uh, transmit to the world, basically, how he would want this waves, basically, to look how the world would proceed this case as you understand they train these people they prepare these people <laughs> and these crimes were also investigated all in advance not only by slovenian police as they lay them down but also all sorts of police departments from uh, different locations around the world so you need to find your own pattern your own path. And one of the things I can say is, if you're going to learn to come every time whenever they fuck you, even stronger, even better, with more proofs, with whatever it happens that is really bad, and you come out even improving that stuff, even whatever it costs might be, uh, you have chances, maybe, to stay alive under this type of circumstances. As soon as you're going to start to look uh, just like somebody that is taking it in his ass, uh, that's when you you stand no chance. Uh, associating yourself to some empty ultra female, they involve in it uh, to, uh, to go for some kind of... Uh, Training basically on how to how you're going to avoid something uh, by trying to look normal. Uh, that's going to cost you life. Basically, that's all there is. It. Remember, they work with one another. When you're in a case like this, you're all by yourself. You truly are by yourself. Uh, those at the top, British royals, therefore have, for some reason, chosen Elon Musk, for some reason, chosen Mark Zuckerberg, for some reason, chosen 
Larry Page, Sergei Mihailovich, also known as Brin. They have chosen what they refer to me as brothers that will support you. They chose the motherfuckers. They chose these motherfuckers. They did so based on long-term agenda, knowing, going over and over, God knows how many times before already, how to fuck the person. They knew exactly how to drive the case through so that in the end you would come out as like ultimate loser. So these are the things that, talking about the people like early fucking age, you understand? They knew whom to choose, what kind of political streams, currents to associate itself with. To basically melt me down. You look at that, man. I am 52 years old. And by God, honestly, you don't look too fucking good today. You don't look too good today. If I were you, I know so. Because if I were you, I knew that I am really, really fucked. And I also would know that I have no power over the victim anymore. Absolutely no fucking power. There's no fucking way you can go out there and say, ha, huh, we know this guy. He's our friend, as the case was in the past, as, it, as long as I kept my mouth shut. Everybody would know that my being next to you is actually equals to a death threat. No less. Actually, assassination attempt. So you are far also from where you used to be. And it's a little bit different when I start to, instead of siding with a silence, with you taking shit for you, knock back in your face. It gets tough when public, when you involve so many people in it with idea to have it your way. And the whole picture is just now getting completely different. Disallowing you to lie further. Disallowing you to be in control. Disallowing you to uh, explain, uh, give people the reasoning, understanding, people that are actually concerned for this shit. Because it was also good people that were involved in it. But they had to comply with this governmental shit intergovernmental shit and couldn't go past their words yes i did not have any fucking words the mute people don't speak right so you know i'm gonna go ahead i will do the whole video again um I'm going to play you this video for as long as I'm going to have ability to, uh, to let's take this off. So I'm going to have ability to listen to myself. Uh, and then once it's going to stop voice, I will be. What I will do is I will go ahead and I will start. Um, I will just go ahead and what I will do is I will just start to give my input basically about what truly went on. The second thing, as I said, and again, I failed to mention to you. Uh, you see, I already failed about something and so I made this screen bigger. And damn, I forgot about it. So I'm going to have to make it bigger again. Um, the whole video I have video recorded there is absolutely no doubt about it even that there always is a procedure there always is a procedure that you would get like in the morning hours you would get SMS you know they send you in the morning hours they send you SMS um, the whole procedure however was uh, audio recorded by the police. The whole procedure. This this house is a Big Brother house. 
This is a this is a 24/7 audio and video surveillance house. For this case, for the delivery of what was January 25th, 2024, I'm going to stress to you it was a postal workers who stated to me the following. They stated to me the following. Based on, this is what's interesting is, and this is stuff I have not done in previous videos, and I have to start doing it. Based on your scenario, you will provide us with, yeah, you will record the video. And uh, this watch is in question. You will provide uh, the video that same evening you're going to come home with the item. And based on that scenario that you will provide us with, uh, we will, yes, of course, yes, of course, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, it could be, it could be that this, this is the, the information, such information they get from the video that is posted on the internet. That absolutely, yes, that is true. There is, without any doubt, that you don't have to be sur video surveillance, that if you post your video on the internet, everybody will see it, everybody will fucking hear. You don't have to be Einstein to know what the guy said. But in this video, ladies and gentlemen, half of the video is missing, half of the audio is missing. That makes the situation very, very different. Even I fucking know what I said that evening, Yeah, unless you would, how do they say, um, uh, never mind, audio surveillance, uh, eavesdropping, eavesdropping, unless you would eavesdrop, and Marvelous! I'm going to say thank you. For one thing, I already fuck you. Now, how would I do this? I simply am going to use the many other proofs I have about this audio surveillance by just suggesting you that within, and it was not because of the SMS that you sent me in the morning hours, that's what you always do. You always, I got on a 26. Once I already retrieved the item, that's interesting one. That's a that's really really interesting one. This is the SMS which you will see all the SMS are posted underneath. You know, you know underneath it states. You know what it states? It states that the item that they were trying to deliver me again. And the item is waiting for me at the postal office and so on. So what this got to do with it? <laughs> Everything. Everything. Because I did my best and it paid off. That's why I'm doing this video. The job is not done till the job is done. That's why I'm doing this video. That's why I'm doing this video. I already presented you with one scenario, which is this one here which where I also indicate most likely a proof about the item being stored by Slovenian Postal Services. This actually is the proof. This will come out with postal workers from the normal master postal, governmental postal service, even interrogating me based on number of different scenarios on how or who or when the watch is going to be stolen. Do you hear me what I say? They stated this actually, what I provided you here with this, this here is what I was also brainwashed to tell you during MK Ultra. Now, I wouldn't do this stuff based on the brainwash, but obviously based, based on pure logic, based on basically investigation I have done. However, I was told by the postal workers that this will be the scenario that will come correct. So what, what exactly the fuck I am talking about? I already told you I'm talking about the multiple scenarios that involved the theft of this watch here, 
right? That's what we are talking about. We are talking about the theft of this watch. That's why I said when I said to you that you don't have, actually nobody could prove that this house is not audio and video surveillance because it is, without a doubt. Yeah, this I'm using for another proof that it was based on the scenario I have provided in this video here, and not in this one, not on the one you see it, but this was a completely different scenario I have provided here. This scenario. This scenario was totally different, different scenario. It just, in that, in a sense, even that it was maybe, even maybe it was the best video I have made it so far, this was eventually, in a sense, it was my luck that the audio could not be heard. Why? I don't have to explain. I already did. So they follow up through the scenario I provided in this video with idea to prove me wrong. And the next thing you see is knockout that followed up on February the 5th. That's basically 10 days. I told you that the theft of the watch took no less how many nine years of uh, brainwash beginning in 2015 that's five alone the watch that was involved in it was at least five uh six years six years they play with this item here with this one here with this whole item with delivery of this watch let me make clear about this this delivery of this watch was on the picture six years the watch that you see here however this watch was on the picture just as i talked to you about the watch industry being involved into the field of psychiatry since year 1999 it was the first one was the Casio that came up with something similar to that uh and then it all started like in 2002 they wanted there was this they wanted me to feel like it's the watch that i have made that it's based on my taste and so on and yeah it is it is based on my taste certain features definitely they are based on my taste you understand me so oh my god uh, you're talking about what 20 when it comes to delivery of this watch it's nine years when it comes to the watch itself shit, this is almost 22 years and within this time, the items you're about to see have taken place beginning sometimes. Hell, I don't know when I ordered those first uh, strap bands for the watch, nylon stuff. Maybe. I really don't know. Maybe sometimes 2011, 2012, whatever the case might be. I am not going to I'm not going to put my hand into a fire for it, but with so many different scenarios on how they would fuck me and timing literally the merchandise, not only this watch, but everything you see on AliExpress and especially more than anything, they timed the postal service that totally started to time um, <clears throat> delivery of AliExpress items that are placed on sale. This guy was so proud together with the director of the postal office, with directors of the postal office, master. they timed them, they logged for every item, and they repeatedly ordered the fucking items, using entire police force to document exactly how much time it takes with what kind of company, what seller, what sells who, uh, and demanded from AliExpress sellers, uh, even from manufacturers to cooperate with them in crime and so on. You know, Slovenia is too small for that kind of stuff. Uh, you do need central intelligence agency to get people killed uh, using this type of uh, issues, this type of... Uh, <clears throat> 
espionage to redistribute, right, Joe Biden? To redistribute fraud as much as possible to as many as possible parties, different parties from around the world, right? So that's that's how you neutralize the victim, and that's how basically one is killed. That's how the royals murder. When you see the sales like this, God knows how many combinations, different items, whatever they timed. Uh, this psychiatrist here claimed together with the postal office workers to me the beginning the 2013 I think they claimed me they started this is the first time in my life that I have used uh, the sale like it, this shit appeared like for the new year it is the first time I have purchased from AliExpress this uh, like three items for two uh, euros dollars whatever uh, in my lifetime so I would definitely not know anything about it but this creatine that you see right there this imbecile right there would definitely absolutely knew everything about it and I worked very hard on it to make it as impossible as much as possible together with the novel Mesto postal workers so in a way I feel truly truly fortunate that they made the big deal out of this, and by the biggest deal to me, eventually, is that sound was missing. So when I got SMS early in the morning, same day, on January the 26th of 2024, early hours, I don't know what time was it, it was like a fucking... Four o'clock or three o'clock in the morning, it was like bing bing something. Five o'clock, maybe it was five o'clock. It was like five o'clock in the morning that I got the SMS. SMS rang like at four or five o'clock in the morning, suggesting me that they tried to deliver me the item and they couldn't deliver me the item again. And now it's waiting for me at the postal office after the item already. I have already obviously I have the item they were referring to matches the numbers the description absolutely everything uh, after i already have retrieved one from the postal office this is evident here in this video here it became clear to me on february the 5th of 2024 that i got actually even proof not the day when i recorded the video which was the february the january 25th you understand Not the day. I didn't even get the SMS yet. But once I got the SMS, the same day, when I say the same day, I work throughout the fucking night. I work as soon as I came home. I started to video record this shit. I ate something, prepared myself psychologically to this shit. Mom went sleep, and I jumped on the work, and I started to investigate this stuff and have created, like I said, one of the best videos ever. I created, not me, maybe even the best one in respect to the Postal office deliveries. However, it became clear, it became totally evident. Once I got the SMS in the very early morning hours, exactly with instructions that match those of the postal workers, postal director suggested me, once you are going to already eyesight, once you're already going to post the video, we will know exactly by which scenario to go from. So this is another thing I have to stress to you. The postal workers from the Novo Mesto postal office uh, with director stated to me, once you are going to post the video, which we know it's going to be the same evening, you will retrieve the item. We will already know how to proceed, proceed from within, where to go from there with the item that you see right there, which scenario we have involved in MKUltra due to multi scenarios involved in mk ultra we will further use to fuck you basically do you understand so since i posted this video the same evening it's locked here under the friday january the 26th but it's not true 
I don't know why the hell this shit is like that because I, I posted it in a very, very, like at midnight, I posted this on the internet, this stuff, like something like this. Maybe a few minutes after midnight. I don't know, maybe even at one o'clock in the morning. But I'm not sure why is it like now this stuff time, accordingly to, I have to see what, what uh, basically the settings from the blogger are. Hold on. If it actually does make sense, because, you know, if this stuff is actually from United States of America timing or something like that, uh, it shouldn't even be posted under the uh, January 26th, but still under the January 25th, just as I managed to video record this stuff. This, uh, you know, when I post, it's about like at 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning I post it. So, common timestamp format, February 17 at 3.32 p.m. So, we're talking about like three hours of difference, if I'm not mistaken. If I would post the common right now, and right now here in Slovenia is 18.16 uh, and this would be like, I don't know why it would be 32, uh, but that would be like 17, actually 15, 32, that's like three hours of difference, roughly. Uh, this, uh, I'm afraid it could be somewhere, is actually maybe even the time difference almost is uh, closer to the one in... Uh, no, in England, uh, I think it's like a one hour, two hours difference. Uh, I would really not know. I don't know by which uh, location my blog is. Uh, uh, basically, by um, what exactly, what location my blog is. Uh, I didn't pay attention to this. A time zone, all right. There you go. It says Budapest. It says it says Central European time Budapest. Yeah, then I fuck it. Then yeah, I I, I made a mistake here. I shouldn't even said that. Uh, it definitely then it, it is. It definitely it, it does go everything under the the twenty six. Okay, so just uh, I was I I kind of believe that uh, in United States, as you know, there is a. a time frame like eight hours of difference and more 12 hours of difference los angeles from europe uh, it's a time delay right and so i kind of uh, assumed that uh, uh, that uh, that it would be that the time stamp that would give me it would still go under the january the 25th but that is sure it, it's uh, if it's now by the budapest uh, that is European, then, uh, yeah, this was practically, this was posted on, on January the 26th in very, very early morning hours. And uh, what can I say? I think I articulated this very well. So the, the postal workers were sure that due to several different uh, brainwashing scenarios, they would uh, have their say, basically, their right by further playing me. Uh, into oblivion, like you know, it would really fuck me if uh, this scenario that I posted here, this scenario here, that's why I said this video is going to be four hours long. Had nothing to do with this. These are two two completely different scenarios. Two completely completely different scenarios. However, the two and the third one. They had like a three major scenarios involved in it. A proof that the postal office, the way they did this job for the British royals uh, to depict me demented, to depict, to depict my mind scattered all over the place, to make me look as uh, the least as possible credible, to, dele to delegitimize me, discredit me as much as possible. 
Well, this is why they were doing this kind of stuff, because you make statements, and those statements counter one another. If you don't take time before recording the video and explain this properly, and then you look demented, then you look really that something is actually wrong with you. They anticipated uh, they would get me destroyed this way, you know, and it's just, it's just, it's just not, uh, it's just not going in their favor. Like I said, they're not doing well. I mean, this last time they're just really taking hard beating, and the things are just about to get worse. With the video I'm recording right now is the last video before I eventually even send out uh, official complaint. I love the fact that from this point and on, I do have a lot of videos I gotta put it on, but. Uh, I will provide police with enough clue to know what this, not to know, but public basically, what police, fuck the police. This is not even the police. To use enough pressure on the police so they can at least um, take the fucking pencil and write down and look into the booklet to see how much, what Every one of them, how many years they get, and that's about it, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and I will just play this video to you. You're going to see me, and at the same time, I am going to be commenting on it. Let me just see how long is this already. One hour and ten minutes is already. So let's go. I will be reviewing two packages today, still on February the 7th, 2024. The first package I'm going to go to was the package I have received on January the 30th. January the 30th of 2024, that was eight days ago. This is going to be this package here. The reason I have not reviewed this package is because there was nothing to review. This is glue. This shit, this inside in here, it's glue. Um, it's not of a big importance, other than it could be some significantly important <laughs> he was damn it i have uh the very very wrong video here i have provided you i am looking at this stuff thinking about what else i need to tell you and uh, uh it's totally wrong video i have here january 25th oh man eh? Um, I am going to be paying uh, much, much greater costs for this. It's going to be painful. It's going to be really painful. What we're going to do is I'm going to go here. Okay. And uh, what we are looking at is actually worse. Oof. This is the file that you see here. Shit, I already felt lucky it's going to be one hour and 52 minutes. Damn, man, this is like a 2.12 gigabyte, this crap. That's so beaten up tonight, it's going to be a catastrophe. I was dreaming about going farther for a visit. Uh, this shit, once you start doing one, you got to watch one tomorrow, on Sunday. There is truly no way out of it.
This is two hours and 26 minutes. So poor, poor me, man. This is uh, it's gonna be a long night. It's right now 1825. So this is the one, this is the video. I deleted the original file because I was simply desperate to I was just uh, I was just simply desperate to But repair this diamond file. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and we'll do the rock and roll tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just chocolated myself right now. I don't do that stuff really, unless I am doing something crazy, some crazy shit I'm up to. When you know you're going to be recording shit for hours. You do that for the sake of your energy. And there you go. And off we go. Let me demonstrate you this baby here. I think this is going to be an important package for me. It concerns this package. I just picked it up tonight. And uh, I'm here to seal the deal. I am for it. There you go. I came all excited. The two babies are working. I just came back from the city. See that? And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to close them down. You can see the date and time. You can see it. As a matter of fact, don't take me for it. The proper, the exact date and time. Well, I regularly also compared to the you one you can see the time when i started the video record yes, this the one you see it right here it, it does match the description this, this, this was placed really online at about one o'clock in the morning one o'clock in the morning was this on a january the 26th was online right but the video recorded was still what was on january the 25th the whole thing absolutely january 25th of 2024 so they were certain they were sure that oh. what they heard what they heard me saying is what they would go and play based on the scenario they heard me saying would be what they would this house absolutely is right. a big uh, brother house there you go. absolutely is surveillance january 25th 2024 it's right now 11 minutes after 2100 hours 2111 January 25th, 2024, let's more about the crime, about the background of the crime. Milan Kucho and Mr. Milan Kucho got from Ursula von der Leyen personally. Don't fucking tell me that you are not working with Milan Kucha and therefore with the Bord Pahar, with the Tanya Fayon, and don't even fucking try. Don't try. Don't try to tell. And when it comes to my case, you work with the Putin, you work with the Kucha, you work with the Pahar. I got too many proofs. One of the proofs, for one of the proofs I'm going to say to you, it eventually involved a tablet which I purchased from China, if you remember, from AliExpress. Before Davik nad dano vrednost iz tretje države, DDV, it's known as a DDV, a uh, tax on added value from the country, non-European Union country, or a third party, whatever, even existed. Germans, yes, I know, Ursula von der Leyen is from Belgium, whatever, it doesn't matter already supplied Milan Kuchan. The year was, I think, fair to say, Frau Angela Merkel 
2010. You, 2009, 2010, the neighbor here, its attorney, Miroslav Berger, already drilled me with the Milan Kuchan at the local postal office, Novo Mesto. And we went. On a laptop inside of my room, Milan Kuchan demonstrated me how I would submit the complaint for being overcharged. For being overcharged for taxes, DDV, uh, which did not exist at the time. They procrastinated that I would be buying a tablet, which I would have to pay DDV tax on it. And it would be in Slovenia that would go already with taxes something that taxes would pay already in China or whatever, and they would overcharge me or whatever, uh, and I would have to go and uh, submit the letter to Slovenian Postal Dars and so on, services and so on. It wasn't one, twice, three, four, five fucking time. At least, literally with the Milan Kuchan inside of my room writing the fucking letter how the how to write the letter what to what to how to complain if this is not fucked up uh, frau ursula von der leyen i don't know what the fuck to tell you you knew that you will start a tariff a new tariff in the respect to the import to european union milan kuchan did not impose one he's just too small inside of the european union it was you, it was British, it was Germans, French, Italians, Spanish, Scandinavians, much bigger than Polacks, Czechs, Slovaks, Hungarians, Romanians, Bulgarians, don't have any fucking word next to Slovenian, Croatian. Uh, I'm not going to say that they did not agree to this because they received large support from the European Union, as far as development. I will not say that they did not agree to it, because it works for them, absolutely. If it wouldn't work for them, they wouldn't be inside the fucking European Union. But, ma'am, madame, this is a corruption. It's a crime, and it's this type of crime that's being used to murder individuals, literally. The last thing I personally would expect would get this type of freebie gift from you, since you are such a great L of mine, since you're so much sided with me, with Germans and everybody. Why the fuck would you do this and tutor them basically how to fuck me? How to make me insane? Why did you deliver them this shit from Brussels all the way here when you're not supposed to basically do this kind of stuff? When it was, in fact, for you not to even decide about these things. And you took initiative to redistribute illegally criminal material, basically, to the state officials so they could abuse one further for my being actually based so that they would rationalize once they threw me. You didn't throw me directly. You used Slovenian services, basically, to do that. You see how one hand washes the other into the psychiatric hospital in 2012. So, you know, you stink, really. No, don't ever fucking tell me that you did not work Milan Kuchan, or, in fact, that you do not represent interests of Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan's interests are those we see today in Ukraine, as far as war on Ukraine. Milan Kuchan's interests are those of war in Bosnia, Croatia, not only Slovenia and on Kosovo, which, in other words, represented Serbia against other nations on the Balkan. So, you know, it's lousy. It's lousy, and it's, you could, you could guess for some time, but with so many proofs, it becomes so dirty evident who the fuck you are. You're dangerous, by the way, because you have money, and you are a threat. You are a much bigger threat than what you say Chinese. 
You're a, you are the greatest threat to the European Union. You present the greatest security, security fiasco based on your own brainwash. You do through the European Parliament, through the TV and so on, through through the stuff, the way you the way you promote it. You are more dangerous. You are more damaging to the European Union than anybody is. You can lie for some times, you can lie for some time, but you cannot lie person forever. Let's save these recordings. Postal office, postal office. I'm gonna do it fresh for you. So fresh that there won't be any doubt about it. I want to do it like, you know, really, really, really. You're blocking my human rights complaint as you refer to complaints to be seen as by your officials, by the world, basically. Complaints to be viewed through your representatives by the world, submitted to your representatives and to be viewed through the eyes of your representatives to the world, in front of the world about how complaints should look like, what complaints should look like, what is it, how it should be, the whole thing, how, and even how you are going to block them, or you will block them, or we will block you, or we will block complaint, and complaint is not going to get through, and complain this, and complain that. You were doing a kill inside of the European Union for Milan Kuchan. And Milan Kuchan was doing a kill for you inside of Slovenia. Don't fucking say who you are working for, who you represent, and who represents you in Slovenia. Really, really fresh. Just recall how many times you have stated me that if I will mention you, that if I will talk against your autocrats, your fascists, your Nazis that represent European Union, what you obviously expected from me to embrace with death, that is, in other words, with a silence. Condition me on how to write complaints, condition me on how to view my views on myself or complaint will not get through. That's not corruption, Mrs. von der Leyen. That is something else. That goes into the water of extermination of the genocide. For you. Hey, there you go. That's the baby right there. You see it. 27.50. By doing this video, you don't have to go over to the original video. This. this is the last one that it saved. The because recording. this video Let's will go. be satisfactory. This video will explain, uh, at least what the other video will explain, already did, already started some background about this crime, how 
uh, in a very important background and 2750 it is that needs to be finished and I am gonna go ahead and use this baby here to get this stuff done here Why would I know, and I'm not going to use the term also, I'm not, I don't want to use the term, why would I know? I don't want to use that kind of term. But why would I also think that this is a big brother house? Twenty times by three, that goes roughly to about uh, two years. Two years. Two years of torture inside in here with the police barricaded inside. With Milan Kuchan next door at the residence of Miroslav Berger. Lawyer Miroslav Berger. It's a big Yugoslav guy. The guy who was making everybody, whoever was visiting our home here, believe that Slovenian people want Serbia here. With his two sons, with his family, with his friends, he made the whole fucking show. Portraying this whole thing like, yes, everybody wants Serbia here. Everybody wants Serbia here. So whoever came to this place, whatever people from India, whatever place, he made a fucking impression like, Everybody we all want here, Serbia here, with the police in the rear, nobody even there to say anything, basically. With Milan Kochan at the Miroslav Berger each and every fucking time, MK Ultra bestiality would take place on a frequent basis using minimum, if not Big Brother house, Minimum a Bluetooth transmission to the house of Miroslav Berger, where they would pick up the signal and watch the whole fucking thing. And it was too many witnesses that visited Miroslav Berger. Miroslav Berger fucking hosted people over there where this shit would go on. And it would have people coming individually from, and I'm not going to say from his residence, but oftentimes from his residence or from the rear here to us, enter the point side and in the kitchen, sit next to me and give me the brainwash as per so-called journalism on how they would want me to view certain, pursue the certain news as in the future. I'm not saying that what I stated to you that during the brainwash, that it was like a big brother house that... I would use that type of statement as a proof that I can definitely, I definitely, I'm saying that why I also would think is because definitely if it was not the Bluetooth, then it definitely was the same system as is used to the Big Brother. It was not used something to transmit the signal, wireless Wi-Fi signal, whatever, to the neighboring residents here at the Berger Miroslav to literally observe, watch, basically how the torture, how the brainwash was done in my face. If it was good enough or it was not enough with a psychiatrist, such as Tatiana Proksher, psychiatrist from Psychiatric Hospital in Ljubljana Polje, watching basically on how it was done. It's why I also think it could be, okay? I'm not saying that, it, that I'm using this as a proof in case... Two years of time that you've been subjected, let's say, in a certain household, in a certain house, with this type of news, with this, with the media and stuff like this, on how to view certain things. If that would not make you think by literally demonstrating you people how they walk from the back street to you during MK Ultra and bring you to them to visit them. 
sit you at the table with other people watching how the person is brainwashing you clearly became well, becoming evident to you that there was also people that were not present and they were acquainted with the situation because you would have a psychiatrist or somebody let's say like Slavoj Žižek running and will be all excited about uh, what else you forgot to mention what else you forgot to mention and so on what the fuck would that make you think that somebody's fucking watching you this is just like a little part next to other stuff and I do have proofs that according to MK Ultra scenario I was surveillance video and audio surveillance I'm just using this like a little bit to give a little extra I'm not paranoid this is not paranoid this is a torture this was these statements are based on a torture on a real torture all right let's continue with this stuff here So that you're going to see that this is a really, 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 really fresh. Okay, fresh obviously, as obviously fresh can possibly be. Fresh. Start to torture inside uh, of the... Everything was... It doesn't matter if this... At our you items, do have... You five do have, euros. Uh, That's strange. That you would have to sign for the package like this. I'm just saying it's strange. Because it was just... Uh, you do have SMS... Everything, all the messages, all is explained. Absolutely, all the background that you're gonna see, everything is explained. And I stated the one, the part one of what you are about to see next or this video. That it was, I was told, a legitimate explanation for, uh, you know, for delivery of this watch. Off to it. But before it's going to connect, I am going to use. Why well, have opened this one here? Because I started to get sensitive about this bullshit. Um, only say to AliExpress the SMS for uh, the leader of the postal office stated me well this is not us this is a postal company that received your package and this package is located in a maribor no for this are, package are, it was anonymous the police who insisted would if necessary if it would be for the watch i already have discussed it, uh, about uh this issues i already have discussed about uh even travel to Maribor. Eventually, they said to Celia. That means like they would drop off to Celia or something like this and get the package over there uh, through the Celia. Uh, that's quite far. Uh, they traveled in that region quite often whenever they had me. Of course, they redistributed me through Slovenia. But it's interesting the way they wanted me hastily basically to state that the package i have received that's the number one thing that the package that i have just received right now is definitely the package for the watch and not for the package that you see right there right here we are about to see and i can tell you this is belt there's a belt inside and there is most likely balaclava here five euros in value uh rather than to sign for a very low low cost items if that is the case <laughs> then i'm gonna only say to aliexpress that i have received several packages of which none i had to sign for in exactly same nature for from aliexpress consolidated packaging aliexpress saver shipping express shipping whatever it is i never had to sign for it so this is strange that this is like the lowest cost item that I ordered. Uh, it, it is strange to me. I find it bizarre that the items, these items for five euros, uh, when I look at the history of how this stuff traveled, it's bizarre to note that 
They have been cleared in Slovenia from the customs already one month and a half ago. That's fucking weird. Look at that. They were ordered on December the 9th. I paid them December 9, 2023. It's when I shipment information received by warehouse electronically. If I go originally to the shipping order, awaiting delivery order date, you can see right here, December 9, 2023. My goodness, that's like, what is it, like 46 days ago. Today, it, it appears to me that it finally arrived, right? I mean, isn't it? I mean, this is it. Either way, this does not look for Slovenian postal office is very promising. And I just, in case, all right, listen to me. In case they did not switch the package from the watch, that also, I think, should already arrive, even that is listed for the February the 2nd to arrive. But I think it should be here already. If they didn't switch that package with this one, in other words, I would have to, it's what the Slovenian police promised me what the case would be, that I would have to sign for packages and would receive like a regular nonsense package. And when something valuable, expensive would come, it would be given to me without my having to have to sign absolutely anything. You understand that? That was the brainwash. When you say this to somebody, it's a very, very powerful brainwash. And I said, I told you that I only had to sign so far for about maybe together. I don't know, maybe three packages altogether. So I have a bad taste in my mouth out of so many packages that I only had to sign for like maybe three packages, four packages maximum. It leaves me out of I don't know how many packages oh, sorry, five packages. with a bad taste in my mouth. Good. And also, this is like, as I stated, the lowest cost order from AliExpress I have made for the new year. Strange that I will have to sign for this one. Why haven't I signed for several other deliveries that were more expensive than this one, but this one that I have to sign for? It's like fucking nonsense, really. Okay, so... So if they want to go this extra mile, and then I'm going to go also extra mile. If you match these numbers here, the numbers I can already tell you correctly match one another. All I know is that... Listen to this bullshit. What I'm going to say to you right now, and what I was brainwashed with by the, the police, at the postal office, there is a counter. And in front of the counter, the workers are like in a glass. It was a police that told me, when you uh, talk to these workers, you have to have a phone in your hand and audio record at the top. You have to place one on the top of the shelf, not in your, uh, in your pouch, because we are already tested. In your pouch is not going to be powerful enough to hear the voice of the workers. I just noticed, since I posted it the first time, like, completely translation of this, I started to get into it, that I really should have done that already before, uh, that it really is a poor transmission because of those glasses, because of those windows in front of it. Uh, and it was the police investigators from Ljubljana who even claimed me if you're not going to do this, you're going to fail, and it's not going to be capable to prove, and this and that. <laughs> you know, they're not so bad. They do the job. You don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to do it myself. If you can't do it, no, you will not do it anyways. I will do it. I will do the whole fucking thing. using your police director, Slovenian police director credentials, I'm going to fucking do it myself. You understand? For every one of those that I had to sign, the postal workers, so I'm not even worried about that stuff. I'm going to have to tell 
when did I sign the package for? And then, you know, if I have to, I'm going to just turn this thing on. Basically, the recording from which I have recorded with this thing, because every one of those is recorded. For, <laughs> because it was the postal office workers, they were cynical about it. They were optimistic. They were like, <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna record us if you're not gonna go and put on the shelf when you come to ask us like this. You know, if you're not gonna record. Don't worry about it. For as many times as I had to sign for, it won't even take me one fucking day to go through for everything I signed for to go over and tell you exactly where you align, what you align, and what you are telling the truth. That's how simple that is. Oh, what to do for the stuff that I have signed and you will say that I did not sign or basically you omit, you will keep quiet about it. Yeah, fuck you. I don't trust you either way. I'm going to go and, uh, you know, I'm just going to go and I'm going to take some time and go over all these recordings and get it done the right way. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I am just, it's very important for me to stress all these factors. How far this crime have gone? How far this stuff have gone? How far this lunacy have gone? <laughs> what advantage, what, uh, how much you Slovenian people give to Milan Kuchin? Slovenian Postal Service is light. They lie. At, at, at this time, they lie. Because if... I had to sign for this one, they have done something that I didn't have to sign for other packages that I should have. Because I find this fucking weird that I would have to sign for this package. This too was part of the brainwash. It was part of the brainwash. You will sign and you don't have other people involved in it. They would make voices. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, that, that's really fucked up. Yeah. Oh, my God. And so on. Hey, let me out. Uh, oh. And then it was a Thailand. Sometimes in two thousand sixteen, and it was a Thai king, Maha Vairanga Corn, Vairanga Corn, Thailand Postal Office. Yeah, fuck that. I don't play with that stuff. I just went there and we got these people and we destroyed these people, you know, doing that kind of stuff to me and uh, people thinking that I'm doing this to the people and so on and so forth. This kind of a sounds like schizophrenic, like you would have voices in the head, actually. So any police, however, they took me to Thailand. This is not Putin, is it? It's... Milan Kuchin is not from Thailand. So, how the fuck Milan Kuchin makes it to the Thailand and with the Thai royals? If, you, if you're enemies with one another, you don't like each other, and you don't work with one another, because a Thai king is really great friend with Germans, and especially with British, with British royals. I mean, do you realize how you how you stink? I mean, that every time you fucking open your mouth, the only thing that came out was basically a lie that you stink. You just started to stink unbearably. That everything came out of your mouth was a fucking lie, basically. Did you now understand why I started to look at you? You know, you just really you just started to transmit a tremendous odor. My nose started to curl when I started to smell you. There was nothing other than lights that came out of you.
as I continue, I'm going to give you some more stuff like the one from Thailand, how they ambushed uh, their uh, postal workers, basically, is what they claim me, how, how they got them doing stuff to people. How they resolve, how they, they're not playing with that kind of stuff. Hey, you know. I just really find it weird. Something here is not okay. Especially because it was a really heavy brainwash in hype in respect to the watch that I demonstrated you. Okay, so. No, I actually spent a great deal of time in disbelief that it would be royals that would do stuff like this to me. I was convincing and convincing myself like the most, like the poorest thing in this world that it can't fucking be. That it is actually royals that are involved in this stuff. That you guys don't even understand what kind of psychological cluster fuck that did to me. It was the time when I was really, really poor. When I was so fucking poor that you possibly could not imagine because I didn't know who was fooling me around. And it's even more difficult to choose the side. When one side is threatening you with a debt, with a 100% debt, we're talking about the Milan Kucha. And then the other one is actually being used to play with a sanity, with your sanity, basically, to just for you to, that you would take the side despite great possibility and facts in which you see them as a part of the problem. And you still continue to see something that's actually not the case. It's when it comes like really with a great price for your mental health. Because these people are in it only to cause more and more and more damages. And so when I was investigating this stuff, when you investigate MK Ultra, you always have to if it's intergovernmental, you have looked to for locations that, like for instance, Slovenian police, the fuck they, they, Slovenian police in Miami is shit. Or Slovenian police in, in London or in, what the fuck is in Britain that goes on that British royals would not know about. Or in Thailand, the Thai royals would not know about. Tell me one fucking little thing that is out there that they would not know about if it's of importance to them. But there was nothing of a greater importance to them than my case. My case was a bigger was of a bigger importance to them than war in Iraq. They say this here, they, they stated here at, at 1348, as you see yesterday, that the package is waiting. What, what did they say? No, they, they didn't say that, but they stated here Okay, we received the shipment from the sender Express One Slovenia. Uh, I don't understand what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Who is this we? Who is now the Express One Slovenia? The Express One Slovenia is supposed to be, I think, even in Ljubljana or whatever. But who is this we? I mean, this is what I don't understand. And here on the top it says, Posta? Who the fuck is we? Who is we? We can only be one. That's the Slovenian Postal Services government company. Posta Slovenia, basically. Slovenian governmental postal services. That's all. There is no there is no other we since the SMS that you see right there on the screen was sent by the Slovenian Postal Services. And what uh, the worker at the window, when I, where I acquired about information, actually the head of the, of the postal office made the, somewhat really look strange, since she would not even look into the information I provided for her. At first, she eventually did, but at first she did not. And it says, we have received the shipment. So I don't understand any of it, man. Yeah, I don't understand any of it because I returned from the postal office just right there. 
and it it it, it rang in my face her words during which she would not take initiative to say give me your number please but she had discussion stating to me some other issues beforehand before even checking the fucking number i mean isn't it the first thing that you come to the counter that you want to have a ticket docket number whatever so that you can look into computer and see what the case is as a matter of fact what exactly is the part that pertains to you or if and if not pertains to you at all that's like a, a regular procedure of any clerk whether you would go and pay for the parking ticket or whatever or postal office, whatever might be there. This is just the way it is. Uh, Slovenian Postal Services is Slovenian Postal Services. And this is what I got as information yesterday at the Slovenian Postal Services. Let's go to recording. This I would just go ahead and uh, on, uh, plug myself from video shortly and just simply go down here, scroll myself down because here's the audio. This is where I received the SMS. Uh, it's January. This is what's coming next. It was recorded on January the 24th of 2024 in the evening hours around 1900 hours so this was the day before i got that package which i have still not open on a uh, january the 24 2024 i stopped by the postal office and here's what i was advised i got the sms the sms of course it can be seen right here it says right here Right down below here, January 24, the number is identical to all other numbers you see. Uh, down below, all these other SMSs you see down below, everything is identical to this stuff. Uh, and it says, we. Well, who the fuck is this we? If not, if you get it from Slovenian Postal Services, the SMS... From the government, if you get from the government postal services, it's like you would get from a fucking UPS. Then obviously it's the SMS from we nah? says really small. We received the package from other company, which name is Express One Slovenia, and you can track, you can trace delivery through the portal which it becomes evident belongs to the slovenian government postal services posta se etc etc and so on and so forth so here is what they had to say at the postal office on also what was january the 24 2024 however in the evening hours Дайте просим погледат за Аусецана, чеки е пошло. Аусец Буштян па Аусецана. I asked, I said, hey, would you please uh, see if you could find something as far as package delivery for under name uh, my mom or myself? Мислам да има екипа што ќе се дува по СМС-у. I uh, let the lady know that I got the SMS, the one I presented you with, a message uh, how I can follow the delivery. Now, this would be sent to me either from Maribor or from Ljubljana. Uh, this was sent at 13.48 hours in afternoon, close to 1400 hours. And uh, I got even more beautiful proof. Uh, exactly what I stated to you. It was at 0534 on January the 26th. I got the second SMS. 
and it says here that uh, they will deliver the package and if the package would not be successfully delivered and it's below that immediately it was sent also that the package was not delivered to me and is waiting for me at the postal office but let's go back here to this stuff here at fourteen hundred dollars i received that sms don't worry i will explain to you don't worry about it if i confuse you no don't worry about it. we're gonna get there i'll always make sure you understand so they're looking for the package at the postal office Uh, well, the lady says there's nothing, and I said to her, well, they must be pulling me for the nose then. I said, it's kind of strange because I got an SMS message. Okay, so the lady nicely explains that this is when they accept the message, uh, the package, they give you the SMS, and once the package arrives at the postal office, they give you a second SMS. Yeah, no, what is the YouTube Dijansku za pošto? Sprejeli smo pošiljko, pošiljatele Express One Slovenia, tu je dva su bistvu. Način dostava lahko spremljate in tako naprej. Ja, sam tu je pošilka pošta sprejela, ni pa še bila dana v dostavo. To dobite pa še en SMS, takrat, ko bo dana v dostavo, oziroma, ko bo na tej dotični pošti. Aha, potem povedaj tukaj v novem mestu, pol ali tako reče. Ja, seveda, se je verjetno naslovna pošilka. Ne, jaz... The lady says to me, I asked the lady, I said, so, once... Uh, she says to me, once we receive the package, we send you SMS that we receive the package. Once the package arrives to this uh, address here, uh, the postal office in Novo Mesto, at this particular location where you stated your address as a pickup address, we you get another SMS. Ah, <laughs> fuck this. If you are subjected to anti-ultra brainwash, and the chances that you were understood what she's saying to you do not exist. In fucking hell, do not exist. Slovenian police repeated to me on 100 occasions, 100 times at least, on how they are going to intercept the packages, not only for this watch, but especially for this watch they insisted. They would take me to the postal office uh, Trebnje, to Ljubljana, to Maribor, and also not only to postal office in Celje, but home for elderly. With what went on with the police, with the degree, the amount of dementia, this is dementia. You have people fucking explaining you the stuff you would not understand. Seeing the people from Maribor, from Ljubljana, the delivery companies that would actually, during MK Ultra, they post in the city how they deliver the packages. From Maribor, from Ljubljana, meeting you. And what police was doing to me during MK Ultra, you're going to. Uh, you're never going to meet me in person. And if you meet me in person, you already have to tell who I am and so on. This was a living fucking hell. What she is saying to me right now. Is. Logical, it's clear, it's understandable. But when I consider what police was doing with me uh, on how they would have a postal workers from Maribor where they would take me for torture 
to the two postal offices. There were two postal offices. They would take me for heavy physical torture. Deliver the packages, my packages, to Celje, which is between the Maribor and Novo Mesto, just a city in between, where the police would collect the packages and have them delivered to the postal office, Novo Mesto, modified, stolen, etc., etc. And or would have delivery companies delivered to the Novo Mesto where they would do the same thing. Uh, and or would have postal people deliver them and would do the same thing in Novo Mesto. You don't fucking know anymore what the fuck they're telling you about. It's now very difficult to understand who the hell is providing the delivery from where the fuck is the mess? Where is the pit? This is it? Ljubljana? Is it the package in Ljubljana? Is it in the Maribor? The two half. What is the clearance? The possibility to clear the import. Is they do the inspection basically. They do the clearance, and for for fuck's sake, due to the amount of brainwash, which even suggested that once the uh, the clearance is completed at the maybe customs in Ljubljana. Frequently, that was the case with the customs in Ljubljana. There would be another, again, delivery company that would take them and deliver them to the Novo Mesto. You don't fucking know anymore what the fuck this Slovenian uh, posta, government service, postal services. Are they fucking delivering this from Maribor, Ljubljana to Novo Mesto? Or is it, again, once it goes through the customs, there is, again, another company that's taking over and is delivering for them this to Novo Mesto, or what the fuck? How the fuck are you going to know when every third SMS you get states that delivery was fucking unsuccessful? Man, this is the fucking government postal office in Novo Mesto, isn't it? If you work for the fucking government, if you work for the same company, for the government postal offices, would you not know where the fuck is the building located at? There's only one so big in City of the Novo Mesto, and the address is that one. Yes, not no other one. You understand me, what the fuck I'm saying? I can actually even make deal out of private company, if the private company would be delivering, let's say there's some rookie or whatever, or let's say that it's one of the postal one express or fucky fucky company that suggested me like they did God knows how many fucking times they did they had these companies, private companies that would suggest me, well, you know eh, I will not deliver this to the postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto because I read on your blog, they destroy you everything. I did not even, I swear, I did not even write about it back then. And they were already misinterpreting how they are going to not react to something that not only was not written, but obviously they were not even in jurisdiction. They were not even, and I'm not going to say entitled, but, or privileged, but... They do not have the, the delivery rights to the package. You, do you understand me what I'm saying? They, they started to claim that because what everything would be destroyed by the police, they had drivers presenting themselves as a patriotic Slovenians, claiming me, doing all kinds of insane stuff. Like this company, One Express which started to fucking deliver the stuff. Uh, the stuff arrived to Slovenia for me. And they would drive around with my stuff, I think, like for two fucking months. I'm not exaggerating when I say at least one month and a half. With me writing them fucking emails, calling them, leaving them messages, leaving, uh, uh, writing them all kinds of emails, they would not fucking respond to me. Then what they would do is they wouldn't throw me inside of the postal box we have downstairs, but you should fucking go and throw on a fucking table in front of the house and stuff like that. Was it was under MKUltra involved brainwash how the neighbors are gonna be just 
praying on anything that would be delivered to us and go for it and steal and switch and so on. Do you know what kind of fucking dementia this was? What kind of fuck this is? But the lady is saying to me, the same lady that was involved in torture, not only in, in normal minister here, but also in Maribor where she also worked. Man, this is total fucking cuckoo land. You don't know anything about what the fuck is going on. And she's like, yeah, like everything is understandable. Like really, it's not understandable under this kind of circumstances. Sorry, I did not explain about that stuff earlier. That's why I'm doing this video now, so that I do this shit in depth, so that you can understand what kind of cluster fuck this is. This shit didn't go for one year, not for 10 years. The first time I ordered from AliExpress, I should say eBay in Slovenia. In eBay in Slovenia was in 2006. So this goes for the last 20 years that this shit goes on like this. This was total lunacy. This stuff the, with this postal service stuff here in Slovenia. This is a total lunacy. When you look at through the eyes the way they did to me on so many for 20 years. It was not for 20 years. For 20 years they were doing this stuff to me as far as the packages from abroad. But torture at the postal office, that one goes to 1988. Go figure out how many years at this postal office. 1989, 1988. It sounds easy. This was yesterday, the postal office, Novo Mesto. And I'm going to action to you. This was. Ah, uh, come on. Let's. Uh, I am just going to play you this here and translate it for you. Yeah, I got this messages before already. I said that I never got that message. I got those messages before. Those messages don't fucking significate anything. They don't make any fucking sense, those messages. Those messages were actually used. Those messages were used to drive me nuts. Insane. Before this watch, it was other watch I ordered. Before the other watch, it was other watch I ordered. Before that watch, it was high, I don't fucking know. What else I ordered from the internet? Do you understand? And... Oftentimes, I would go and it would be back and forth with total misinformation. I did not even know what the fuck went on. I would appear in the office and nothing would be there and so on. And it was a lot of talk about this SMS. When the SMS is going to an SMS and SMS, fuck this SMS. Uh, basically, if you would go and follow up all this MK Ultra brainwash and actual in actuality bullshit that you go and you sign for the fucking item that is not worth it anything. Uh, and and it's nothing I was capable to do in the past, anyways. And you know, I started to actually video record this crap, basically. You know, I started to video record this crap. It was way too late for me, anyways. And not, if this is not wild enough. Therefore, as far as signing for the items, and not so that those items would be switched with a wrong, cheap, shit item. Uh, as what I was interpreted, ah. Oh, uh, we will do this so that we can switch it with uh, the expensive item, therefore, with the shit item. Ah, fuck no. They would do this anyways. They do it anyways, man. The truth is, you only didn't have to fucking sign for it. They would fucking do this. They did. Why do you even bother with that stuff? Just to make it more interesting and to make me look more stupid, basically. As far as doing it, 
they all just did it. The fucking SMS or SMS not. Remember what I told you earlier about preserving your sanity, basically. You have to find a way to survive. You didn't respond to the fucking SMS, which was misinterpreted to me during MK Ultra, is a form of your coming and signing for the cheap item. While, in fact, it was used for you to sign for expensive item, as the case it should be, so that we could steal the expensive item and you would get fucked up used old worn out item or wrong item. Hey, fuck the SMS, you know what I mean? You don't want to go and rely on the fucking SMS. SMS this, man. They fuck you up with the SMS like this. You want to rely on this, this kind of SMS and on the way it should be, like the lady's saying, like, tick, 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 tick. There is nothing tick, tick in this fucking postal office. This postal office is a cluster fuck. This postal office, every one of this postal office should get at least 30 years prison sentence. That's your fucking postal office. That's your fucking SMS. You don't want to rely on SMS. You want to rely on basically on a camera and on an audio recorder and basically the SMS like the way I documented it here when I actually got the motherfuckers with the pants down basically when I video recorded the video which thanks God in a way did not have half of the voice was actually missing from this video and he gave me the opportunity to receive the fucking SMS the same morning as I posted the video actually two SMSs I received simultaneously one sms stated at 5 34 in the morning the first sms stated we will deliver to you the package such and such the package i already have supposedly pick it up the day earlier on the 25th and the second package that also followed this sms I should say in second SMS that also followed the stated SMS also on January the 26th at 5.34 in the morning, which stated the package, we were not capable to deliver you. Uh, it's waiting on you at the postal office at Novo Mesto at Novi Turk 7. Wow, man, what kind of a cluster fuck this shit is. You don't maybe even realize here, but they supposed to deliver this fucking package to the postal office located at 8105 in Novo Mesto, at Novi Turk. That is the fucking address. I don't live there. It's a government postal office. How the fuck are you going to deliver me something that I already have supposedly? Supposedly, I already have picked it up. And so on, and so forth, and so on, and so forth. So, you know, when the lady is trying to sound like appropriate and logical, and that's the way it is, this is a clusterfuck. This is just the cream, the cream of the clusterfuck. Somebody would even say that nothing is wrong with her. Somebody would even say it's something wrong with you, guy, because you're asking questions like this. And I'm going to say, fuck you. They really know how to lie, boy. She, does, she, she has a difficulty to even check the number from the SMS that I provide her with. She checks it and... So I gave her the tracking number. CF3 and on each. Steripet Anna Awesome Dwanich S E. She tells me the package is in a Maribor. Oh, yeah? 
Okay, she tells me they got this package in the city of the Maribor, uh, and it's tomorrow that you're going to get another SMS, and uh, you will come and you will pick up this uh, package. As it became evident the next day, uh, I did not only get uh, the SMS, uh, therefore I presented you I responded to the January 24, it's still January 24, this is the recording that you hear here, yes. Uh, what, what really gets interesting, the next day what I got, I got delivered at home uh, the whole, uh, like this, written on a, on a, on a like, it's a, it's, a, it's a really, really fancy, look at that. On a January the 25th, 2024, it says, there is a package waiting for you at the postal office. So that's basically how I returned back the next day. At the same number, the same stuff, the same thing. You can go and you can pick it up. Uh, there is time to specify and so on and so forth. So yeah, um, the next you're about to hear, it's going to be me picking up the package. Uh, Eventually, on January the 26th, also. You also have the recording also right there from January the 26th. There are two recordings. One is from January 25th, and another one is from the January 26th. So she says, the lady says, it's in the city of the Maribor. Uh, they, they received this package, and so on and so forth. I got a real fucking problem with it. I got a tremendous problem, because police claim... Anywhere from when this package comes, they will be rushing to Celia to pick it up. Whoever is going to go through the Celia that day is going to go to pick one up. Uh, and or we'll have a worker, a postal worker, stop by at the Celia, dropping at the Celia this package to whomever, probably head of the postal services or whatever, who would keep this on the side for police, which would to pick it up, or whoever would be in his duties in the area of the Italia and would then deliver this to the normal master where they would fuck with this package mercilessly, basically. So, you know, to me, not everything is so easy. I want to know who the fuck is providing this service delivery from Maribor to normal master. Is it a private company or is it actually a mail guy, mailman? I don't know. I understand that you received this. I understand that you receive, but they sent you to brainwash. To me, it's not clear. Is it a private company that is providing delivery service from the city of Maribor or Ljubljana to the normal man? So, uh, once it goes through the customs uh, or whatever, you know, um, or is it actually a, a government, a government agency? Government postal service that delivers one from the customs to the normal master. I don't know about this. I don't know how they have this done. You are to go through the customs, customs government of Hungary. I don't even understand why the fuck is it that they would give this to uh, in Ljubljana. This because in Ljubljana also customs. This customs are the same shit. Once they're declared, go to the computer from the European Union. Once the taxes and everything is declared, uh, it's only dead today, that's 22%. So, uh, above a certain value, I don't actually know what's going on at this point. I have no clue about what actually is happening at this point. What, what exactly, what, what's happening here? Is it a private company that's going to deliver this further from Maribor? Or, or who is going to deliver this to the city of the normal man? I'm just even more confused once I realized that delivery was unsuccessful. As I get the message, uh, I didn't get this kind of message on a 25th when I returned for the package. But I got this kind of message on the 26th that delivery was successful and that item is even waiting for me at the postal office. If you go to my account here, 
uh, if you go to my account from AliExpress, and if I show you the orders, uh, you're not going to see even one fucking delivery here that would state uh, that they attempted to deliver and they did not know they did they did they were not capable to deliver this is this is fucking lunacy can you imagine all these items here from aliexpress claiming you for every item that you purchase everything that you purchase from aliexpress or from ebay everything that you purchase claiming you basically that they have they try to deliver to the postal office and they did not succeed man it's a fucking postal office it's not me they are open from monday uh eight o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock in the evening every fucking day except saturday and sunday can you imagine well i don't have time but i could go on as i already demonstrated you almost every fucking item you see here everything ended up like this with literally items that you have seen were damaged as delivered such as the pouches such as the pouches that you see here for instance i'm just going to use this as an example uh or let's say a military tactical baklava bike cycling windproof face mask outdoor and so on for the winter uh, items that they delivered as damaged and for which they have even stated me this individual here stated to me it was like this the brainwash you're going to order them but you're not going to get them you're going to order one more or you're still not going to get them the brainwash demanded from me to order as many items as possible to make sure that i would at least get one or two as for the rest they claim me they're going to keep them at the postal office and would be given to me at the later time at their convenience it was not their convenience but as this individual stated to me they would give me fucked up destroyed items you would have to use it you would have to use whatever we're going to give you and whatever will be good like also this order that i made here or let's say this order that i made here you see these pouches here they are of a better quality than the pouches above you will not get them thus we will compel you to use the items which already are damaged that's how you see still see me walking around with a dirty old pouch that's how you still see me walking around with a dirty old pouch and not with a new pouch deliberately deliberately because out of the protest because you don't have the right to do this stuff like this you have no fucking rights to do this stuff like these people you with my money choosing what i will get and must be of a lower quality and damage you don't have this kind of right you <laughs> you don't understand you don't understand this kind of a satanism you don't understand this kind of satanism this is what the satanists have stated me will do to me you will be wearing the items i will give you what you will wear i will choose what you will wear and what you will wear will be fucked up destroyed what is good and so on you will not get so you like you like this kind of game you want this kind of game jobless you want to finish your complaint and look for the job you want to submit to police and so on yes you want to do this you have to go beyond this guy and this monkey is a king in Slovenia he's a king he is a psychiatrist who have entire police behind him 
is a psychiatrist that rules Slovenian parliament, is a psychiatrist that rules Slovenian Supreme Court, is a psychiatrist that rules every, everything and everybody, is a doctor, is a deputy from King Milan Putin. King Milan Putin presents himself as a communist. So you got a fucking problem here, you know. You got a fucking problem here. When you when you combine all this stuff, what this turns into is something completely different. It empties your wallet. You get nothing. You are you are compelled to wear and take whatever is delivered to you, which is destroyed, ripped apart, and that's all the fuck there is. That nobody complains. This is what British royals. Played. This is what their plays was based. This kind of stuff. This is what Prince Harry, this is what they wanted. Yeah, you look at this video here. I explain exactly how they wanted to get their media, why they wanted to I participate, what they wanted from me, what the, what is it the Joe Biden, what how they wanted this stuff to go. You have to see this video is beautiful here. This is beautiful here. How they operate. Learn what is learn how they operate so that you understand and hopefully decide whether you fucking need them and where do you need them. Do you need them? Do you need them inside of the palace or do you need them inside of the jail? And where do you need their grandchildren? Do you need them inside of the palace or do you need them on the beach so they can finally learn to respect value of human life? They don't see us as a human beings. They don't see us as a human beings. We're not human beings for them. So, all right. Uh-huh. You see, I ask, uh, 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 they, they, I, I'm not even sure what she's talking about. Umari uh, So, you know, she says, in Mari Boru who the fuck is this in Mari Boru Maya Sedish? Mari Boru uh, that can be a private company. I don't even understand what she's talking about. She should clearly explain, sir, this is probably cost of whatever in Slovenia. This, this was given to Slovenian Postal Services in Maribor, and uh, it's Slovenian Postal Services that handle from their own will provide delivery for you to the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, most likely the next day tomorrow, the package will be available for you here at this postal unit. Now she's talking about fucking, uh, they have a seat in the Maribor. Who who the fuck is this? One Express probably also has a seat in the city of the Maribor. And I think she's talking about uh, One Express, actually, that has a seat in the city of the Maribor. So, okay. Go figure out, man. I say thank you and I go. That's all. I don't want to. I just. She says next day. Fuck it. Let's go next day. That's what the fucking SMS. You know less with the fucking SMS than when you don't get to pay attention to the SMS. So I come back on a 26. That's basically the next day. Let's hear this. On this recording, you have uh, what I enter next is the next day I appear again at the postal office in Novo Mesto. Uh, so Novi Turk 7, and uh, it's January the 25th of 2024.
Hvala vam. Vi čez pet minut se popičam na pošti. Tu boš je spisat tukaj, piše 25.1. januar, je vaša, ne? Pa včeraj, ko sem se tukaj oglasil, začel v večernih urah, nekaj bi se zaprl. Mislim, da je tukaj bila pa vaša šefica, ne, ta glavna, ne? Je bila, ne? Tista gospa, ki je okolj dve, tri ure prej odprla, prej da se je odprla, ja, se spomnim. So I asked about the, uh, again inquire. I identified the lady I have spoken with yesterday. That's a head, the boss of this postal office. Uh, her issue I have already discussed in this video here in details. Who she is, what she is, what her part was, and what police, what kind of plans police, she and police had for her, how that would play out for me. It was not enough identifying her. It was far from enough identifying her. There was more police was preparing in respect to identifying her. Pravo, ena pošilka je. Aha, aha, aha. Je tu na moja mama ime? Ali pa sama? Na Boštjana. Na Boštjana je? Oprostite, malo čudno mi je. I was really hoping... Dobro, dobro, v redu, vse ok. She says there is a package for you here and so on. After I present her also this paper here that you have seen was delivered to me. And she says... It's on my name. Holy shit, how the hell could this be on my name? I'm thinking about what the fuck? How can this stuff be on my name? This is like right there. Look at that. On my name, it says right there. Uh, this stuff here was listed under my mom's name. That's her name. I listed that under her name. So that's strange because this stuff here, um, this stuff, Honestly, should have been here already a long time ago, actually. This stuff, uh, departed customs here in Europe, if not uh, most likely Hungary, was on January the 14th. January the 14th, 2024. And it arrived on the 15th. Based on what I see here, it must have been Slovenia. I don't know why is it here written that it left the transit country region. Let's suppose that this is still Hungary. I don't know. Let's say it's a Hungary on January the 16th. Um, 2024, let's say, let's say it left Hungary. But we are located right next to the Hungary. On January the 16th, it was actually Tuesday. So you have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to deliver this shit. Let's say from the Budapest to Novo Mesto. And you could not fucking get it done. This stuff doesn't work like this. That's strange because here in Slovenia, they received this package also at the same day, on January the 16th, as the case should be. Uh, and then what happened? I don't know. It sit in some place for three days. It sit in the place, some fucking place, for three fucking days. Actually, you know what? It sit it. 
all the way to the Friday. Why the fuck would it sit the work days, such as Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? Why would it do that? Why would you have one, two, three, four days, my item sitting at the dock somewhere in some Slovenian private company that received this item, if it was not even for Slovenian postal services that received one? But let's say it was one express. So what happened here? The item sit it somewhere for four days? Now ah, that takes us to the prince, now King Charles, that started with a brainwash and insisted, I will never get the watch I will pay for. The time I will order the watch is when he's going to have his prostate cancer examination, surgery, and so on. Done. So I'd like to know what the fuck happened here on 16, 17, 18, and 19. The issues I have mentioned right now cannot be confusing to you because I already have discussed them. I have already discussed this ish, his issues in respect to the prostate cancer. And when discussing his issues about the prostate cancer next to the Slovenian politicians about what went on, Prince Charles, I dedicated my time exactly to this issue that you see right there. This is actually a big case I'm resolving. There's a tremendous amount of brainwash involved in this. Stuff. So he stated, I'm not going to get my watch. I hate to lose my fucking watch. Mine is mine. Simple as this. Even if it works, even if it works, even if the watch works somehow, still, mine is mine, and I want to know where my fucking watch is. You get it? Oh. I take my package, uh, and what can I say, in a little bit we're going to go ahead, I'm going to open, I thank for that was the only package, uh, and uh, the rest you will see exactly how it went, because I'm here to basically to fulfill this whole thing, uh, this missing part of audio that I did on initial video when recording this there was no video, there was nothing. And so we did the audio part, we did that kind of stuff, SMS and so on. So it's already at 13.48 and yesterday at 1900 hours, well, like I fucking see stars, blood pressure and stuff like this issues in the morning without the sleep. Just waiting someplace for 37 days. Head of the postal office. Yes, I already clarified the issue. You will get another SMS. Uh, when it's going to arrive to this uh, post. Yes, I agree, equivalent to the SMS. But I did not receive the SMS. These are two different things. She insists under no. I am not gonna go into it. You already know the drill of police. Uh, basically, to ensure themselves that they did pass on to me the information after 
20 years of torture, brainwashed with a lumi, because it actually is it, it, this with it's all mixed up. And I do, I'll do it here, the police officer who was involved uh, and who participated also with this postal delivery packaging. Because this comeback was the with a single one issue over the course of 10, 20 years with the car, supposedly two hours. Now, when we have a road, good, everything, it's like about two hours for you to get there. Um, the thing is that uh, I mentioned earlier, Celia, city of Celia. Celia is this here, it's right between Novo Mesto and Celia. It's what police stated me would intercept the watch at Celia. Um, I don't want to take you too far with it. What matters is right now what's taking place here. Um, she said, no, uh, you will get another SMS and that's when the merchandise is going to be ready. So yesterday, this was not ready at the Novo Mesto Postal Office. I am not going to go into it. You already know the drill. Uh, Novo Mesto Postal Office, basically, this is the address that I have listed. That's a Posta Slovenia, Posta Restante, 8105. I'm going to include both audio recordings below. And this is pretty much it. This is when I stopped again today at, again, at the city of the Novo Mesto, where I'm from, to check for this package. Let's look at it. So I already made a big mistake here. Uh, the mistake I've made actually is quite uh, really, really considerable. This is inside of the postal office, but I made a mistake. Big fucking mistake. Uh, individual who presented himself as a police officer, he eventually even, uh, it didn't come to me. It didn't come to me because I was in a hurry to pick up this package, inspect one myself, and that was a mistake. I already paid for. Arrived at the postal office at the same time as I did in a BMW Series 3, later model, black color, uh, very similar to the car from, I told you, his name is Simon Bartle. A police officer who was involved uh, and who participated also with this postal delivery packages uh, just enough for the Slovenian police uh, basically to ensure themselves that they did pass on to me the information after 20 years of torture brainwashed with the lies for everything that was to uh, brainwash like they would brainwash you like 100 times with a single one issue over the course of 10 20 years they would always take time also so they would record themselves next to you how they're telling you at the end when it's everything finished when it's all over when you're ready to set you up to fuck you they record themselves next to you explaining you how uh you should actually see things so that you would not fuck yourself not even this i so that you would not look paranoid, so that you would not be thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital, that they do this after they brainwash you 100 times on how to fuck yourself. They also do that, like, like in a really fine letters as you read on every contract. They record themselves next to you, quickly telling you even more, basically, fuck you. And so that you would pay attention to if you have somebody from your family member or your friend that is close to you and he was up to no good and he wants to justify his, basically his crime against you, uh, they would use such person to further manipulate you and uh, use him basically to... convey your message on how it shall be done so that those people whom you supposedly, of course, you do have, your enemies basically would not be blamed for. But those are not your enemies because it's demanded from you 
to see in them friends and they are only doing this stuff to you because of them because of them they never say them them is them that's the politicians in Ljubljana it was always a Ljubljana does it Ljubljana does it God. This is a not even a, that kind of this stuff is a such a because it was so mixed up with so many issues that it didn't make any no fucking, fucking sense. Idea what's going on. And when this stuff is done, it made no fucking sense. This is our house Those here. And the first mistake I have made so is I did not video record the individual you get the maximum who out of human appeared status, out of human suffering. That's how and have posted play the game as. Uh, <laughs> He used to be a police officer. And this was the individual who demanded from me uh, to remember, basically. He, he parked the car today right here, right at this spot, at the last spot. I parked here like this, like where this white car is, and he parked the car right here at the end. And this was the first mistake I have made. I did not video record this comeback. Because this comeback was the one out there to actually remind me of what I stated to you earlier. On how a police will definitely, if I am going to order this kind of watch here. If I am going to order this kind of watch, which I They were really making a really big deal out of it. If I am going to order this kind of watch. They were making super big uh, deal out of it. This is like a very, very discounted price, guys. The price that you have seen, I got because it was, I purchased one through my mother. And when you purchase through a new customer, as a new customer, AliExpress give you a discount. And so I use the mother's discount to get this watch. He was the one through whom also Slovenian police brainwashed me and demanded from me to see this package here, which I demonstrated you, two cheap belts with, uh, um, you know, with uh, balaclava, substituted with this here. Because Slovenian police insisted me it's going to be this here, but what we're going to do is we're going to have you sign for the bullshit package, yeah? Once you're going to sign for the bullshit package, this kind of package is going to stay with us and we're going to be playing with one. And we're going to be playing with one. So they, 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 they totally massacred with, with, with complete, with the stuff that is like, like totally. You don't have to, you don't have to, um, you don't, um, how can I say, you don't have to make a mistake. You don't have to, you don't have to be insane to look completely insane. That's what the fuck I'm trying to tell you. With the, this kind of game, with this kind of stuff, you don't have to be, you don't have to be wrong. You don't have to make mistake. You, you don't even have to be crazy to look completely insane. Out there, basically, to to get somebody killed. But you're talking about probably more than two hundred items like this. This was not the only item. You're talking probably about over 200 items ordered through the Slovenian Postal Services that would arrive from China, items, my ass. from abroad, that Slovenian yeah. police would do this kind of stuff with. So this is, this is not good. Uh, when they still, when the Slovenian police psychiatry still have a capacity to get their paws on me, their hands on me, when nobody knew about me, it was even worse. They would intercept the package they would literally intercept the package like this is like that i demonstrated you what is a dance with the satanism so that you get to understand what the satanism is they would uh, they would uh, they would intercept the package because i was drugged up and the male guy would deliver when i was drugged up in the hands of the police who barricaded himself in our house and tortured and they would demand from me to go online on the internet, such as the case with the, Alex, uh, with the eBay order, and post that 
uh, in fact, it was the Slovenian police who have substituted my uh, belts, which I ordered from China, uh, with the belts like this. You see, obviously, there's a big difference between in a quality between these belts, because these are so much wider. And the belts I had before were especially good because they were such a strong belts, indestructible nylon belts, three times as thick as this. So, to get things even worse, it was my father who got involved in a torture, who stated, well, you ordered them for me, so what I am going to do is, I am going to give the belts, uh, your belts, to the police officers, investigators, and they are going to give me their belts, which are actually shitty belts, which I am going to give them to you. <laughs> to get things even worse, police had had these belts, which I ordered by mistake. I ordered them by mistake because they look like these belts here, but they are much thinner, much smaller belts, hidden. They would have them fucking hidden for like 10 years. And then it would be the mother that would have them delivered into the living room the other day, about maybe a month and a half ago. And who expected from me to recall the memory about MK Ultra, how my father was sadistically in front of me giving the belts, my belts, for what they claim were my belts to the police officers. They, they made uh, the deal with the Satan. Simple as they, this. They, they, you would have, you would purchase the fucking items and items would disappear for 10, 12 more years. Then my mother would have them all of a sudden appear. And it was anticipated even 20 years. You would not see the fucking item. You would only see them during MK Ultra when they would brainwash you with the lies. And then what they would do is they would anticipate police when they would brainwash you with total lies. Having a complete overview into your eBay. What the fuck I'm talking about? Hey. Hey. Every fucking email, every fucking password that I ever have created, abs absolutely everything on the computer, absolutely everything was frequently uploaded to the police computers. British took the fucking passwords to Britain. The first thing they did whenever they would come, they would have absolutely ransacked the computer. They would download absolutely, absolutely everything I was doing on the computer. Absolutely everything, and it would match this with whatever information Slovenian police supplied them. The internet service provider was to provide ISP addresses, every website, everything I would do in the internet, all the entire um, activity on the internet. To all the parties involved, it was not only British, it was Germans, it was Americans, absolutely everything would get absolutely every fucking information. That much more I was surprised when father accused me of chatting at night, talking to a German neo-Nazis uh, in 2012-2011, claimed as instructed by the Slovenian police that I was talking to a German neo-Nazis, that I was talking to German neo-Nazis and at night that I did not sleep and I was talking to German neo-Nazis. You guys have all the fucking websites, everything that I visited, all the chat rooms, everything. You must have all fucking recorded. Absolutely recorded absolutely everything about all my internet activities. You not provided a single proof about Anything like this, the product, the claims how I chatted with the German neo-Nazis were a product of the lunacy, not even a product of the lunacy, but of malicious 
Well, it, it worked out. His statement was used basically to throw me into a psychiatric hospital. Basically, what else? He destroyed my kidneys and liver and so on. It was very efficient. It was very efficient. If you think that this is this is just uh, how can I say? Everything that British say about America, Americans say about how it was Stalin. Stalin killed people. He took killed people. You know, uh, they just would go and uh, they would just get the people and would get the people uh, just killed uh, because they suspected, you know, they suspected they have done something. And even you do not do nothing, you know, uh, they went and they killed people. They sent them to Siberia to die. You know, you, you, uh, I already hear this motherfuckers here from Slovenia. You are innocent, you know, you, know, you don't do nothing, and you go to Goliath, or you go to whatever fucking place, you know, you can do nothing, and you know, you, you did it. This shit did not happen to me in the Soviet Union, or in Yugoslavia. This shit happened to me under the protectorate. I'm not going to say even with assistant. But through demand, literally, it was enforced through United States of America. It was a central intelligence agency, like a fucking America, like fucking greater than Great Britain, like fucking Great Germany, that he said this, he said this, he said, he said this, he said this, even that he did not say. He said, he said, fuck you, he said. Everything that you talk about the Stalin and the Osip Brostito dictators, the way he did, you fucking did this. How the fuck you allow this stuff? You not allow one, but you enforce one. You are you trained psychiatrist, Peter Kovac, and you enforce that shit. You enforce that shit exactly what you were talking about, Joseph Stalin and Josip Brostito. You enforce here in independent, in a so-called free Slovenia. That came to life because of me, motherfuckers. You did this shit to me because I created one. And you talk, you dare to fucking talk about the Stalin, you motherfuckers in the United States of America. I hope the world is watching this fucking video. World knows me. I destroyed Soviet Union. I was the one who brought to life. Russians are going to fucking tell you. Putin is going to fucking tell you this. I was the one who brought to life Eastern Europe. In everything you stated about how the Stalin did, how the Stalin did, how the Stalin did, you fucking tell me, you motherfuckers, in Washington, D.C., in Berlin, in London. You fucking tell me how the fucking Stalin did when you lie on your websites. How the fuck do you do different? What makes you different from Stalin? Did you love to talk about Stalin? Stalin did. The Stalin did. You tell me what the fuck Stalin did. I'm not your average person. I'm not your Yoja, I'm not your Giannis, I'm not your, your, your somebody from the farm. For you to go and do the stuff like this too, you did this stuff to me, you motherfuckers. And we're talking about the British royals here, no less. You want to look how? You want to look good? You want to look like dignity? You want to see... Dignifying, you want to look like, uh, like we say, Pluminiti, like Edel. You want to look like, uh, like uh, you have ethics, like you, you are into justice, like, like you care for human beings. You don't give a fuck about anybody, I'll tell you how. You did this to me. Just remember, you motherfuckers, you did it to me. You didn't do this to average Joe. You did it to me. That's where your fucking problem is. When you're going to talk about the Stalin, when you're going to talk about the dictator Tito, when you're going to talk about all this Ceausescu and all these people, how they got people killed for not even doing anything, for, sus for suspecting, for being suspicious about them. Just remember me, motherfuckers. Remember my face. And the police officers that they gave him used old belts like the one you see right here. He would never use this kind of belts to make things even fucking worse. 
Those belts were actually used by somebody, possibly even by me during MK Ultra. But in real world, I have never seen these belts. So they demanded for me to go online and make the statements for which they believed I would not check and see first. This becomes especially deadly weapon in which if you close the eBay account and you don't have any kind of track anymore about what you have received, the way to check. And it did happen with me. However, I remember, lucky for me, that I did order the belts and I did go back online and I did check well after the police told me these things still I went online because the belts would not arrive and I would go remembering the MK Ultra bullshit and check what kind of belts did I actually order if I really made a mistake once I saw that I made a mistake 10 years ago I did like this to Slovenian police and would not even mention anything. I pretended like everything was okay. And when I pretended that everything was okay, Slovenian police became even more empowered. They schizophrenically believed, schizophrenically believed that something is wrong with me. They knew that nothing is wrong with me. But they were such a schizos, such a schizoids, paranoids, that they saw something that did not fucking exist out there. That means that these Slovenian police officers are also mentally ill because they believe that as long as they're going to see something that doesn't exist, it will fucking exist no matter what. And this is the case that went on for 52 years. I'm just mentioning this example, how, how insane, how fucking insane these people are, that you understand basically the nature of this crime, how violent and how insane this shit is. So that's how, those are the things that they hoped for, they're going to prove that something is wrong with me. No, I made a mistake. Yes, I did make a mistake. Nobody, nobody has stolen any kind of belts from me. My father did not give anybody any kind of belts that were good. Do we understand each other? I didn't make no fucking mistake. I never made any fucking mistake. You hear me, motherfuckers. I remember. I looked at my eBay account. In 2012, I ordered probably this belt, or 2013, I don't know. You motherfuckers, you remember what I told you right now? And I remember. I checked it afterwards, and I saw how many millimeters the belt was, and I never stated, ever, that you stole my belts or anything. I checked it up. And I learned that I did make a mistake when I purchased them. But I never made a mistake that I would go and discredit myself online, which I easily could. Even the people that would not be subjected to MK Ultra could make a mistake like that. Especially because my father did not demonstrate to me what arrived in the mail. But he kept to himself in his own closet for 12 fucking years. Invisible. And I did not go to check on the internet, on the eBay, where I ordered them from. If those were actually the belts that I ordered. Because I did this already before. So I remember already from 2013, 2012, whenever I ordered those belts, that I made a mistake. Even despite your convincing me, trying to convince me that you have stolen the belts, I never said that you did. Fuck you. And I paid them for. Uh, but this is basically the way the Slovenian police wanted to make get the proofs that something is wrong with me. Watching this fucking movies, collecting the information based on the stuff they have gone through. Engaged in crime against me. Writing all the shit they did. And then matching it basically with my statements. I wonder where these motherfuckers are today. Do they got to leave? So they get to stay at home and watch my movies. Or they have somebody else, like it was the case during MK Ultra, when they would go and they would literally alter the audio recordings. They would get using me basically for the eavesdropping. They would bug me when they would deliver me to the people. So they could prey on people, whatever the people would say. And if any kind of death threat pop up and stuff like this, 
violence that took place, physical attacks. The other day, there was a guy, a police officer supposedly who also worked at the police, who was involved in it, and they suggested me would be also used to modify the audio recordings from the MK Ultra, so the audio recordings would not be even original pertaining to the violence and stuff like this. They would go over and they would edit literally audio recordings. I don't know, maybe even before they would pass them to another party, to the US or whatever. That's a Slovenia. Uh, and receive in return belts from the police officers that didn't want their belts because they were bad and so on. Man, when they fucking involved the whole fucking family to lie against you. So let's continue with this stuff here. This individual was a police officer talking about my friend. He, they did implicate him in this. So I'm talking about the guy that you're going to learn, I'm going to explain to you, uh, that he also would participate in it. His name is Simon Bartley. You're not going to see one right there. Uh, and they were using him to soften basically the impact of torture on me, to make the torture somewhat acceptable. You understand? That's what his purpose was, uh, to suggest me that he would look over for me, uh, and so on and so forth. That's the kind of stuff. That's actually... How can I say? Um, I already explained the issue. And it does concern to the black BMW that was parked in front of the postal office, for which they demanded me also. Uh, it would be parked right there to remind me how I have to video record the package, the watch, that the watch would come broken. Uh, that was one of the scenarios, that the watch would come broken uh, when he would park the BMW right there like the way I suggest you with a copper registration from copper, license number from copper, city from copper, near Italy, located, Slovenian city. Uh, it, it actually was not his car. It was a car from another individual who participated in MK Ultra, uh, who claimed, who presented, who mispresented himself as my friend at times, and was out there basically to give me a false information. Was out there to basically misguide me on how I have to record that it's going to be the watch. And I have to record one already inside of the postal office uh, to be, uh, to, how can I say, to look as credible as possible when opening the package to inspect one already inside of the postal office. So, but this is this is totally something else. In continuation, I'm going to explain to you uh, about what the prelude into total lunacy was to the postal office that day. These are just postal workers that work in the front uh, register, assisting people with the packages. But the whole thing, when it comes to MK Ultra, uh, it's much bigger. You have all kinds of people coming around you all of a sudden, according to scenario brainwash a repeated scenario uh you actually state and view some things that don't fucking really you should actually and but you do because you you they make you see things the way they want you they 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 explain you the things and i'm gonna tell you that this thai king maha viral and corn extremely disappointed me once he started to claim me that if you start to see like you are brainwashed uh, based on MK Ultra, uh, you are sure you are as his friend. So this guy is just, if you ask me, this is just a baludio. If you ask me, this guy is just fuck. This is a crazy fuck if you ask me. If you claim that the person that is subjected to MK Ultra and starts to see the things, certain things, only the things concerning uh, critical issues that are used to drive him insane. Uh, and 
is not endangering anybody and is just seeing things whichever were used to subject him through the torture are used to actually to make him discredit himself in front of the world and you're gonna tell me that person is mentally ill then you're fucking crazy yourself i mean there is no proof that the person that would see something uh based on brainwash on such a degree of violence uh under such circumstances like a mine um that if he would say something that is actually that is not like that that he was driven crazy like this and that that something is mentally wrong with that person that that's that's just a to me that's just a baludio that to me is a mentally ill person whoever says that is mentally ill especially when you know that what exactly mk Ochre is like piking maha viral and corn he tortured he used mk Ochre for torture purposes he heavily used torture he heavily used mk Ochre for torture purposes did you fucking dare to say so that the person is see something as that there's something wrong with the person, then you, you're really fucked up. Hey, then you, I really got to take care of you over there in Thailand because you really step on my nerve with your statements, such as if I would say something like this and so on and so forth, you're fucking nobody to judge anybody, first of all. In the prison, people only carry the numbers and they are to respond to numbers. They don't even get names. They don't even get the first and last names. There are no fucking kings and queens inside of the prison. Yeah, that's his name right there. Can't see him anywhere. <clears throat> he had a BMW. Always. He had a BMW like the guy police have used. However, this guy had a proper license tag, proper registration license. And according to what he stated to me, to the brainwash, this is basically how it all started when I came at the postal office on January the 25th. He, this black car came, this BMW came and parked right on the spot, exact spot to which city mayor Gregor Macedoni now, listen to this shit, Gregor Macedoni, and uh, whoever is taking care of the parking lot security, participated next to the police, would, they assured me, uh, they would actually even, uh, there might be actually a police. It was actually, uh, I should actually even know something about that stuff. It was something between the private company and between the police, which one was monitoring. And it was something up to what year? I think that something changed in year 2014 or something like this, whatever the issues might be, as far as the video surveillance of this uh, square at Novi Seven. It was something like this that had also to do with those issues. It's either police monitored or it's private company monitored, which they s insisted me that if you would not mention this BMW, uh, it would be, uh, they would not take the license plate to one, etc., etc. That's not a big deal because we all know the car and the copper license number. Uh, this individual claimed even that uh, he used to live in the city, uh, and but that he then moved to a copper, uh, that it was a copper that appealed to one uh, much more, and then actually he even stated there that he purchased some place over there and so on. Uh, acting also like he was my close friend, Simon Barton, which was not. To make things even better, <clears throat> this individual who was not he, but who tried to imitate him the video recording inside of the postal office which this was uh this said basically this his car over there and he parked is illegal it's criminal it's prohibited it's a sign before you enter the postal office which states you're not allowed to video record inside of the postal office it's criminal you cannot record inside of the postal office Yet, it was a fight that would even, like, 
arguments that would broke out between the employees of the postal office and police officers who insisted in front of me that for this occasion, however, I have to, that I should, and that I have to, it doesn't matter, and so on. Uh, and postal workers who started to claim that, no, you should not, and so on and so forth. But this is the stuff that's used for something else, as you're about to learn. Had a registration license. Just, they create such a situation that it actually, like, uh, um, it just pulls you in a current. And you completely lose your ground in these stories and this bullshit. You can see that there is plenty of it you have to worry about of getting action because there is plenty of it. There's nothing other than scam. It's nothing other than scam that you, you see here. It's all about the scam. With the KP, which was copper. Under MK Ultra, they would deliver me to the copper. Talking about the Slovenian police, they would deliver me to the copper, which is again completely on the other side of Slovenia, here, here along the Adriatic coast. Yes. Let's see if I can change this here. All right. So. And this about three hours with a car. I I can't. I actually I cannot. That's I don't know. And if I get a chance to do this, we're gonna do it. Hundred and seventy kilometers. It's actually autobahn, and you can make it in one hour and forty-five minutes from Nova Mesto all the way to Adriatic coast with a car. <clears throat> Hundred and seventy kilometers. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And I was actually the. Investigators, they presented themselves to me, who will in the psychiatric hospital. Sign it. Are we going to do it like this? This is inside a video recorded the Novo Mesto, inside of the postal office, where I know. You're never going to hear me. From here on, I am just going to go ahead order and I will and keep yeah. myself. They used that that uh, AliExpress used that suggested me that he actually does require the signature upon uh, their customers receiving mail even for the lowest cost products and yeah, here here along the Adriatic coast yes let's see if I can change this here all right. So, and this about three hours with a car. I, I can't, I actually, I cannot. That's, I don't know. And if I get a chance to do this. We're going to do it. Hundred and seventy kilometers. It's actually autobahn and you can make it in one hour and 45 minutes from Nova Mesto all the way to Adriatic coast with a car. <clears throat> Hundred and seventy kilometers. So with this individual that would park this BMW 3 Series right here, I was to, to be reminded to make the statements. Yes, they did go, and it was the watch, and it was the watch, and they did, and so on, and so forth. <coughs> You're going to hear me stating something similar, basically taking into account the possibility of it. But you're never going to hear me stating that that actually happened. 
especially once I came home, I figure out that the person, the shipper, that was again some kind of Indian guy, I think, with his belts, whatever they used, that, that uh, AliExpress used, that suggested me that he actually does require the signature upon uh, their customers receiving mail, even for the lowest cost products. And when I had to even explain, if you're going to order two belts, that it seems like that it would be, uh, if I two items like two belts, it will go probably through the certain shippers. That what this is, what I'm talking about right now is this genius was the one. This is the mastermind of this philosophy. He was the one who was explaining if it's going to go, if it's going to be two belts, it's going to go through the shipper that is going to be uh, involved in that consolidated AliExpress packaging. Uh, if it's going to be, it's going to be the bigger order, it's going to go through the bigger order. It's going to be like this. Yeah. And there is this Indian guy uh, who absolutely demands everything signed for and so on. This was his philosophy. This was the indoctrinator of uh, giving me the AliExpress policies on basically how it works. He had some other people whom he would ask in front of me, explain him this, explain him that. And then he would start to also, ex he would meddle in it and he would start to explain in his own views, uh, basically how, what the policies of the AliExpress are and so on, how I should view and why I should actually ex uh, uh, accept that it was not the watch uh, I have signed for, but in fact, uh, just the AliExpress uh, package, regardless of its value. Even that I did not sign for other packages that were of a greater value, whatever, uh, that this is just this Indian guy uh, with the belts, however, who is such a meticulous guy that he does require, however, signatures and that kind of stuff. Okay, so we have to be detailed about uh, exactly who did what so you don't misunderstand any of it aliexpress has a policy that if you if you order certain items that's yeah. got to do uh -huh. with some kind of shipper you know, from aliexpress obviously that maybe is the partner for the belts or whatever it is uh that uh, it is different it shippers is. or whatever that they require diff through the different shipping methods different uh, possibilities such now as even the signature upon the ship regardless of the value. So it looks like maybe, I have no idea, this is strange, because I did receive belts before and stuff, I didn't sign for it. So I have no fucking idea, I don't know anything about this stuff, how things are. <clears throat> the only thing I know is that... To you also sign, yeah? You also, you also get to, you, you also, uh, that was also his policy. You also sign you don't actually even sign, you know, no, no, no. I was going to say you also sign whatever you get. If you remember what I told you earlier, how he suggested he will be choosing what I will be wearing, what I will be using, and what I would be wearing will be destroyed and so on and so forth. Remember that stuff. <laughs> uh... Today, when I arrived at the postal office, let's finish with this conversation. Cretin, like I told you before. Cretin, and dangerous, extremely dangerous cretin, terrorist. So yes, that these people in Maribor and so on. Okay, so this is this, this SMS I got through. I did the recording for you in front of me. This is the second mistake hospital Ljubljana Polje with the police and so on against me. That's the kind of postal office we are talking about. Inside of this postal office, in front of these postal workers, there was a heavy torture that went on. It was not only in the mornings and so on. It was also during the hours that were not busy, mornings or afternoons. Beginning like 1988, the police would deliver me to this place. Like there was something about this postal office in 1988. I don't know, they were fixing it. Uh, they temporarily uh, relocated or something like this. Uh, if I remember this properly. And it would deliver me like at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning to the postal office where I would be actually tortured like uh, 3 hours, 2 hours ahead of before they would even 3 o'clock in the morning before they would even open the office. I would, I would be out there like drugged up, 
in stone in the hand, like somebody would fucking slap hammer you, baby. Uh, <laughs> without sleep, uh, sleep fucking walking inside of the postal office with being asked idiotic questions, all kinds of questions basically designed to wear and tear you apart. If they had people, they, this became so oh, rampant that the whole basically. city was involved in it. Police did not fear even a little bit about what truck. went on, which is actually, as I stated, question of nationality, whether this Slovenian state should even exist. They tell me today we're the 25th, okay, I pick up the stuff and I go out. Here we're going to go. So this was today, and what you have seen earlier was yesterday. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to play you this recording here. This is the second mistake they believed I would make through exactly what I'm doing here. Are we going to do it like this? This is inside a video recorded the Novo Mesto inside of the postal yeah. office where I'm not supposed to record. But where I was delivered by the so-called investigators, Slovenian police investigators, who guaranteed me, next to individual that I stated that he parked the car right there, there was a Slovenian police who would repeatedly deliver me inside of the postal office. As an investigators, they presented themselves to me who will investigate this and have demanded from me to video record this item, however, already inside of the postal office so that I would definitely have the proof that this item here was actually the item where the watch should be inside. And not what you see right here is most likely two belts and balaclava. Do you understand how fucked up, how heavy this stuff is? If you get somebody drugged up and you actually exercise this kind of power that you tell him that he has to... Police officers would argue with the postal office workers in front of me who would claim that I don't, I shouldn't video record inside, and police officers would argue with them, those, the supposedly my friends, that I in fact should video record this, so that they would have the proof once they would start to investigate this crime on how in fact this stuff was done to me inside of the postal office. So these people absolutely wanted me to eat the bait of claiming basically how inside and here should be the watch and not two belts and uh, basically the stuff I'm talking about, obviously that there is nobody in this world that possibly could resist this kind of stuff. You understand that there is nobody in this world that possibly could say it's, it's a lunacy. We'd have to destroy 30 cables to you so that they make you see things that don't fucking exist. And do stuff like this they to, to make you see things that don't, to say they, things they that also, don't exist so that did. they make you basically through the physical violence, through the use of physical violence. No, no, listen, they, they actually did at least 30. They actually did. This, this is not bullshit. This is like not citing an example or something like this. It's actually fucking done. In, done. Say things that are not real to discredit you in front of the world and well in this case negotiate it's for wrong they can never prove me anymore i guess that this is it this is where there is no sound and so that's when i come as really really happy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna go like this and well that's supposed to, that was a car uh, for which I was told, if I'm not going to mention this car and so on, the security company, whoever participated, mayor of the city in it, uh, would not even take the license plate, uh, record one, and so on and so forth. There was no You have to go through a whole bit of this. How deep this shit went. Police, on the other hand, uh, I must tell you, in respect to these cars, uh, had another type of issue involved in it as well. And that was the issue, according to police officers who participated in it, 
Uh, I would have to explain them at the police station why I have so many cars, license plates and so on and that kind of stuff. Uh, video recorded on my telephone and so on. Uh, I prefer to not video record people, uh, license plates and so on, because I don't want people to uh, get into trouble. As simple as this, everybody that was involved in MK Ultra is registered under this case, MK Ultra, and it's not going to be difficult uh, to point out who, when, where, and this and that. But um, I don't feel comfortable about doing that kind of stuff. I do tend to protect people. And uh, we're not going to do that. So this guy that uh, even pretends to be my friend uh, purchased some property in Copper. He would travel to Copper, whatever the issue was with him, for a very long time. At one point in time, he decided he would even stay in Copper, according to him. I don't know how much uh, uh, that's true. He was uh, a friend, a good friend of this police investigators. And what he did was he not only pre pre pretended that it was my close friend, Simon Bartle, who also was in the police, uh, but he purchased uh don't know about the property that he would purchase if he really purchased one or not but i do know that that uh, he did purchase this car and uh, possibly another car with the copper registration i don't know what the issue is it was like that he's coming on us friday saturday and sunday to novo mesto and so on that kind of stuff uh, i don't know anything about that stuff uh, so this is recorded literally inside of the postal office uh, I, uh, if you pay attention to the background, you can clearly, you can see uh, whatever you can see. This is the stuff that will, uh, maybe still I have to put it on. There is some stuff that I have to put it on. Pick Pickups. This is inside of the postal. Is it inside of the postal office? I'm not even sure. So, I think that this is inside of the postal office. Yeah, this is inside of the postal office. The doors open. These are the doors that are automatic. I do this. Why I do this kind of shit? Uh, I do this kind of shit just so that I get a shape of the package deliberately. Because, yeah, uh, this information to me was relevant. At this point in time, I do take risk. I do, I do what is even not authorized. I'm not authorized to video recording there. But I did took, uh, I consciously violated that law to make sure that that you see in what state the package is, because that's like essential thing to me. I do suspect that this was this package basically that I signed for. In fact, I signed for the watch. What is here to say? It's matching, yeah, it's matching SMS, it's matching everything. You can you can verify that already from uh, and from the package and from the SMS, which are all displayed down below. I did a really good job at that audio recording, so everything is um, available. I still do believe in it. I still do believe that this is actually the package that uh, which I had to sign for. It was the package that it belonged, uh, that the signature belonged eventually to the watch that you have seen right there. For that, I would uh, accept uh, the packaging from. Uh, that I would accept the packaging, uh, a stolen packaging uh, from somebody else. Uh, 
That's totally out of question. My packaging is my packaging. I'm not aware that uh, Hungary would have a kink. And uh, I'm not aware that Slovenia would have a kink. We have a cretins. We have a cretinoids here that act, behave like they are uh, kings. Uh, but we don't actually, this is a republic, just like a Hungary. We don't actually have any kings and queens here in Slovenia. We don't do this here. Even if we would do this here and it would be packaged would be on my name, uh, there's no fucking way I would alive, allow somebody to fuck with my package. I don't care anything about kings and queens and stuff like that. Charles, even if he would pronounce himself as a king of Hungary and Slovenia, uh, would have trouble here. I'm American citizen still. Not aware that in the US we would have kings and queens. And the crime took place in Slovenia. And we don't recognize this kind of stuff. I don't recognize any of it. This is not a Thailand. So this is just like go. This just goes to demonstrate basically that one more time, basically what exactly I. Uh, no, a black BMW three. What is here to say, like a late model? I don't even know if it's a late model. They probably have this kind of cars already, like in 2017 or something like that. Let me see if they had this kind of car in 2016. We're going to see. And I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to give you basically, I'm going to tell you where this guy might have even purchased this car. This is probably, uh, I estimate, the car that uh, the individual purchased this car probably in 2000, uh, probably in 2016. This was a used car. He purchased this car sometimes in 2016, you know. So what, what we're going to do is... He obviously, evidently, he purchased the car somewhere in copper sometimes in 2016. Maybe even I'm going to say earlier, you know, it says 2016, I could maybe even upgrade to maybe 2014. Between 2014 and 2016, that's quite a daring statement, actually. So well, that's very, very fair. That's very, very fair. The estimate that I gave you is very good. It's very, very, uh, it's very fair, risk-wise statement I have made. Uh, if I would not know what the fuck I am talking about, uh, th this would be like going in a trouble. Uh, started to claim that instead now he purchased the property in copper and uh, instead of traveling from Novo Mesto to copper, uh, he is now traveling from Popper to Novo Mesto for the weekends. So I think this guy was very, very, very much full. Really, really, but really full of shit. And this was not my friend Simon, no. What else is here to say? Let me just see this so that I we know what we are talking about. This is mostly is the stuff that I already have spoke to you about. I wouldn't lose time over. Uh, this is already taking a large toll on it. 
uh, what is this here? This is this is basically this is the package. So that you definitely, I inspected one outside. Uh, I don't know how much have I. Uh, um, I included the original uh, video in respect to that package. Uh, I might actually do that if I have not. I will post that below too. And so, for me personally, I don't know what the fuck to expect. I prepare myself, microscope everything, all the shit, put everything together to make sure that we do have. Uh... So this is the opening here, up to here. Now I have to just let go. And uh, video record the way I opened the item because this is what this is about. What happened was this belts are again dirty. You're gonna see how dirty they are. Uh, they're not. I don't know how dirty. Uh, but they are dirty. The, uh, the the belts are dirty, and these are the belts. I'm not going to say that exactly these are the belts. That's not what I'm saying, that these are the belts. But the belts are dirty according to MK Ultra Brainwash. They are identically dirty as to the belts. They were presented to me during MK Ultra by this cretin from the Novo Master City psychiatrist. Peter Kapsch, individual who actually holds a psychiatric license. Now, the thing, he is spending time watching these movies in his office, or maybe even at home if he, in case he already has retired. He is most definitely not, and I'm very certain about it, he is no longer clowning around the city of the normal man, so he would have his. Predavanya, where he would go out there and uh, in front of the public he would have his speech and started to gather the supporters based on the total lunacy he created. He, I was told, became a local star. He presented to me himself as a local star. You know, he presented to me himself during MK Ultra as a local celebrity of the city of the Novomesto. He further have used a bodyguards. Listen to this shit. He used a bodyguards, uh, a people. I don't know how you say that. That if you go to uh, a club or you go to um, uh, some kind of, you can see there's nothing in there. Uh, you go to some kind of uh, predstava. I don't know lecture or wherever you participate. Somebody's having. Um, he. He used a bodyguards uh, that would uh, guard the entrance where he was uh, giving his lectures about the psychiatry to the to the broader public, <laughs> right? I mean, because you got to be expert on that one. Uh, and when police would deliver me to his lectures, that he would have his lectures. Uh, his bodyguards would get in my face violently uh, and start to physically threaten me uh, about what are you doing here, why are you here, and so on, and so on and so forth. And you're going to come here, we're going to beat you up, you're going to go to the jail, and so on and so forth. Yeah, psychiatrist, a celebrity. He's a celebrity of the novel means for psychiatrist. Uh, also, was using his bodyguard to do that kind of stuff. I don't know where he got those bodyguards from. Was it uh, like a security compl a company compliment for the cretin that he could uh, look like exclusively? I mean, do you do you need the fucking bodyguard to go to see the lecturer to 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 participate in his class? I mean, interest definitely interesting guy, definitely definitely uh. uh Definitely one of a kind. Definitely one of a kind. So, inside, it was a different package. It was not what you have seen right there. Uh, it appears that I'd actually signed a package in value of 5 euros and 2 cents. 
And uh, inside of this package, there were uh, four belts, four watch belts, and one belt. So it was five euros, one belt, and the two watch bands, four watch bands, just as you have seen. There you go. Two for 167. Um, and then there was this uh, 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 a nice, uh, a nice, uh, really nice belt. I really recommend you guys these belts. I mean, these belts are awesome. Um, that uh, whatever that was, one dollar thirty or whatever. And another one, another pair of this uh, nylon bands, whatever. Uh, four four watch bands and one belt all together for five euros. Five euros and two cents. No, one sixty-seven and one sixty-seven and one sixty-seven. <laughs> Each item, uh, 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 one euro and sixty-seven. So, just as you see it right there. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was about uh, he was very physical. This psychiatrist Peter Kaus was extremely extremely physical. When uh, he would take me for a hiking, if he would go and he would walk next to the police, he would always have bodyguards. The bodyguards, his bodyguards were the police. It was always the police uh, next to the police. It was like a rooster. Uh, he was looking for anybody. He would see walking down the road. It almost appeared like anybody he would see walking down the road that he would call out for a physical confrontation with me. In fact, it was actually the people that he gathered on the site uh, that volunteered themselves to participate in his lunacy uh, and then have them during MK Ultra when they would take me for hiking. Uh, walk straight into my face and make threats to me and began to ask me if I could knock them down, if I would go and bite them. And uh, that is a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, a local Novomesto celebrity. So I don't think I am so crazy. I think there is a lot crazier people out there with some literally holding psychiatric diplomas, degrees, basically, from the psychiatry. And if that is not primitive, then I don't know what it is. So what is there to say? Um, these are the issues I already have discussed in the part number, number one. Uh, you're going to see best when I went ahead and I investigated all these items when they arrived, what they arrived, I matched them, everything. I don't think I should actually even concern myself with that kind of stuff. Uh, I am just actually waiting to get to the part where I would be. Am I going to be tracking the order now? That that uh, it's consolidated package. It's it's several packages in there. I did not know. He got me by the surprise. I thought that, that it was with the balaclava and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff in there, so. Uh, for this issue, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refer to you, just go to the, to, the, to the part number one. I did brilliant job by breaking down all the similarities or dissimilarities, uh, and, uh, you know, especially based on that SMS I got at 5.30, once I posted this video online, basically, I posted this video online, I think like at 2 o'clock, something like that, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning on January the 26th. The next thing you see, I'm exercising and the SMS comes. I look at the SMS and it says that they will deliver me a package today so that I should be ready and they will deliver me a package today. Uh, I am a little bit surprised because I'm thinking about there were two packages that I did on my own address, but the package they informed me they would deliver me today is the package that should be delivered to the postal office. So why the fuck? How are you going to deliver me the package if you should deliver this package to uh, 
to the to the postal office and moreover this is the package i already have received the day earlier basically on a 25th and then the next sms comes uh, that the package was not successful successfully delivered and now the package is waiting for me at the postal office so this is this is one fucking dementia this people at uh, this slovenian postal government services they're they're fucking they're they're just like radiating dementia basically they are just work there basically to transmit that's a proper term i did not know how to i gestured earlier emit transmit literally they transmit lunacy their job is basically to transmit lunacy basically crap I do have to go over this stuff. I'm glad it doesn't work. Watch part number one in respect to this issue for you to understand uh, everything. And everything is okay. I clarified that issue already. Part number one, this is part two of two is this one here. This is a two of two. But in part number one, I break everything. you know what you know what let it be all right let it be because because uh, i'm gonna do it again all right i wasn't gonna i really wasn't gonna do this stuff but okay since we're doing this stuff it's kind of tiring but all right all right let's do it So we are tracking for the nylon bands right now to see nylon bands just keep in mind that nylon bands and everything else is completely indifferent from one another because it traveled through the consolidated packaging this chinese uh, delivery system they are really fantastic. They really are really, really successful at doing this for a low cost. It really, really is. Uh, I really recommend, and I really enjoy buying from them because I know that money goes to the charity, basically. For me, if you ask me when I'm doing this kind of stuff, it, it makes me happy because I know that the workers, I know that people that can work for little money know also how to turn the money i know the money does not go to waste because the, when the people learn to work with little money like this that they are doing like this hard job like this i know that money doesn't go to waste so for me it's it's kind of a like a charity also type of stuff i prefer i definitely prefer to buy like this from them okay so what we got there look at that look at that stuff eh? ah. Nothing wrong with this stuff. It's cheap, it's quality, it's good, and you help good people to get more, basically, to get to contribute something to other poor people that are in need and so on. It's it's really good stuff. Uh, it says here that, 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 that this is, again, you remember when I told you, this awful fucking thing, delivery failed, delivery failed. You remember when I was telling you, show me one where delivery did not fail. Show me one. The delivery did not fail. Just show me one. And then fucking tell me, if you work for the Slovenian governmental postal services, and you don't know, you fail with your delivery to your own postal service in the city of the Novo Mesto. How can that be normal? I told you, show me one item that delivery did not fail. What kind of messages are this? What is this shit here? Everything goes normal until it comes to Slovenia. And then in Slovenia is uh, diarrhea like this. So uh, it basically came to city the normal Mesto on January the 25th. 
uh, delivery failed on January the 25th and it succeeded to be delivered again on January the 25th. This is outstanding. So they basically suggest me that I finally did collect the package on January the 25th. So now, if I would be a little bit too much abused, you know, that I would be like completely, completely abused, and I would not know what my name is, and I would not know where I'm from, what year it is, uh, what country do I live, you know, if psychiatrist Peter Kopp would already succeed that far, right? I probably would really mistake him here when he says delivery failed, delivery attempt unsuccessful, because it says right there 25th on the 25th. I probably would really, because I did many fucking times, to, to satisfy Cretin, actually to satisfy Cretins in London, I adjusted myself because it was, my life was nothing other than abuse. So any information that you would give me really was irrelevant to my sanity. The thing is that information that was irrelevant, that was actual information, was as fucking dangerous to me, to my life, just as information that was completely irrelevant, that was not factual. Now you're maybe confused, right? But the thing is that if you get used to relevant information, if you get used to a reliable source, uh, that's much more difficult for you to stay alive in the world where everything is upside down anyways. And that kind of stuff is only done, therefore talking about the relevant, valid information, to brain fuck you even more, to cause you more damage. That's why I do not, that's why the world like this you don't rely on no fucking SMS. You don't rely on law and order and cleanliness and I don't know what the fuck. You do best of your abilities. You have to stay in your comfort. That's called logic, sanity. And when the opportunity is opens up, it's basically you strike, like right now I'm doing, basically. You record, you strike. And you build your case like this. This is basically the way it works, you know? Feel your brain free from this shit, from this London shit, basically. It's more dangerous, it's more dangerous when it works, when it's, when it's the way it's supposed to be, than when the world is upside down, in my case. I know for you it's hard to understand, but this is the way it is. You don't have to adjust yourself. You can go to the jail next day. You will only do once something. What they refer to as bad. Even in this case, there's nothing bad as fucking as they refer to this shit. And then your fate is sealed, basically. And that's what they want. In fact, you have to act insane to stay alive in my situation. Any kind of display of normality, of, of normal, will set you back into a stone age. If I was really crazy, I did not finish this sentence here. Like I usually was, I would say, eh, okay, no problem. And I would go one more time and I would ignore this message here. Danes vam bomo dostavili pošilko January the 26th. We will deliver package to you today. Upon unsuccessful delivery, You will be notified about the possibilities of takeover, of uh, picking up your package. There is no me here. There is postal office, obviously. And the next SMS that came 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes later stated the packaging we were not capable to deliver you. But the thing is that this is the January 26. This is not the January the 25th. 
just as it states right there it says january the 25th out for delivery and it says right there delivery attempt unsuccessful the january 25th and then delivery completed january 25th so this shit here doesn't have absolutely anything to do with reality i picked up my my package and there was no reason therefore for me to receive another sms the next morning basically we will state me that they they could not possibly deliver me a package and that the package is still is waiting on me at uh novi turk seven at the, the the main square in the city of the Novi the postal office there was no reason for that and this time because i was hunting on this issue this time i would not let go this time this is the time this is this is one time psychiatrist Peter Tops, uh, did not get right i did not i did not give him the right i would not go and allow this kind of stuff to go on well, I know that this is stolen. What exactly that means by the stolen package? Package is already stolen if it's illegally held in some warehouse, uh, in some... Uh, you don't even have to open the fucking package. If the package is held in one location without any authorization, without the right, uh, without... Uh, it doesn't even have to be open. It doesn't even have to be replaced by any other uh, packaging whatsoever. Item, I should say. It's enough that stays somewhere on some shelf, somewhere. And especially, I'm going to say, that information that you see right here is being manipulated. As a matter of fact, the one that you have with package in my case definitely why am i saying this to you i'm saying this to you because of another reason i'm saying this to you because today I got a notification from from a seller I got a notification from the seller not today but I got this notification from the seller yesterday and he's asking me, please go to the postal office because I provided him with all the proof, with absolutely everything, with the recording, with the videos, with whatever the fuck I possibly could. Um, before this, before I have done this here, therefore the next day on January the 27, however, he contacted me and he stated to me, hello, friend, the product you purchased has arrived. Look at it. So, the seller from AliExpress state to me, Hello, my friend. The product you purchased has arrived. Please contact the local logistics supplier as soon as possible to sign for receipt. Package number, tick, 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 is shipped. AliExpress standard shipping. Your package latest uh, track information, delivery attempt failure, other reasons at uh, 24 uh, 1st. Da, 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 da. So, what basically he is referring to is basically as a failed package there was something that that did fail that did not fail and that's basically the stuff i have demonstrated you as far as the watch there was no fucking watch the watch the watch there was no fucking watch the watch uh the watch is a completely different beast the watch is right here the watch is uh the watch is listed right here basically We're going to close this down, so I like this, so that you see basically exactly what goes on and so on. You know. Look at it. Look at this shit here. 
But that's why I told you there is no fucking item that would not have a problem here at, with the with the postal office. You see the shit here? What it says? It says January the twenty sixth delivery failed. January the twenty sixth delivery failed. Wow. I don't remember any anything that would arrive on January the twenty sixth that that I would come to pick it up. I don't remember any item that would arrive on January the twenty sixth. But I remember that I pick one up, just as you have seen, basically, on January the 25th. So now you get the point here about the SMS, you get all this stuff. Uh, the Chinese seller is absolutely correct, and I'm also correct. Like I said, I wouldn't bait, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bait, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take another bait from this. <laughs> this is... This is this is this is bizarre. This is this is this guy is a public threat. He is a threat to the public health. And basically, the most severe psychopath actually got me into the police department. From where I would actually even have to report to the team, so that he would check in on me in real time. Yes, he became actually my psychiatrist in the city of the novel. Once the Slovenian Supreme Court ordered me to swallow the psychiatric pill. I would have to visit him with my mom. My God, this is going to be a fucking beautiful movie about this idiot. This is going to be a beautiful... He made a beautiful movie about this stuff. Beautiful one. Outstanding. Horror. Literally horror. So let's just continue with this stuff here. To me, at this point in time, that you watch this stuff, it's not clear that I'm going to get the message, SMS, and stuff like this. So regardless of the stuff I have done that evening, my video was not completed. My work was not done yet. My work was simply not done at this point. It was not done yet. Little I know that at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30, the next day, see, when I recorded this was 22.48, the SMS will arrive that will be even more insane. I already clarify also for the first part, basically, right there, I demonstrated you what they wanted to demonstrate and they wanted to demonstrate and uh, if you watch especially the delivery of uh, the audio recordings that I have broken down between January the 30th and uh, February the 15th, this is what I did two days ago. If you watch that one, uh, you can, you, the degree of the cynicism and everything that was involved in it, uh, they clearly invested a lot in it, in 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 a disinformation, believing that they would that they would hold me in, like, in uncertainty, basically, without my ability to understand, even register this shit about what went on. If only possible, maybe even get in a fight with a Chinese seller and stuff like that, who had absolutely nothing to do with it. This is a very, very reputable seller with an almost 96% uh, approval rate with over 4,000, 5,000 uh, followers. Uh, he's doing a really good job. Uh, I'm very happy to have purchased from him. Uh, and <laughs> dear God, you know, Mm, it's actually this kind of stuff uh, I'm thinking about that uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's hard on people that sell me the merchandise because because uh, <laughs> I mean this idiot is not only playing with my life 
he's also playing with other people's lives that that get involved in it and they start to see the world for what the world is not you know what i mean you you're making you're making a fucking mess all over the place you're fucking shit all over the place uh creating your own some kind of rules also not in slovenia but also in china when you start to do this kind of stuff the people have to work cretin the people come in the morning and they start work they start to do their job they go after you know after the goals but a psychiatrist have time you know what i mean he gets to sit he gets to watch this shit look look at him how he looks like and he gets to contemplate naklepati like psychiatrist kind of prop you use say about me naklepanie and he gets to naklepati he gets to he gets to do his shit with hands in the pocket scratching his ass picking his fucking nose with his police friends who are investigators you know investigators basically it's like a free artist basically like somebody you know what a free artist is it's basically somebody that is listed as an artist and gets his pay his salary uh something like a journalist mainstream media journalists not all of them some are working hard some even lost lives sacrificing for the cause many even believed i'm not going after every journalist out there i'm not doing this kind of stuff uh but you know this kind of a free art stuff you know this is you know i like the people that actually clock the fucking time that can be seen their performance can be seen the work can be seen and for that matter no mr police investigators assured me how they already got recommendations from the people for whom they investigated I'm sure they also invented primes too so they could investigate them. the little shit they give about their recommendations the last recommendation they're going to get from me I don't know what I was talking to what I was talking about precisely like I said I'm really sorry that my recorder was off because it would really be helpful I wish I knew what I was talking about back then because there was so much more stuff that I have discussed about and I just I just don't recall you know I was in that mode basically exactly according to MK Ultra all these scenarios and uh I'm sure I'm missing on the points right now hard points I have made during that video but well it uh, I got a lesson hard lesson Now we're going to inspect these items. Psychiatrist Peter Kops had uh, um, about this irregular items and so on that you're about to see. You're going to see that the belt is dirty and you're going to see the, the straps are not uh, 20 millimeter, but are actually uh, 22 millimeter. You're going to see that kind of stuff. The two straps that you see right there, the green and the black one, 
uh, I'm going to I'm going to bring you you're going to see how they have sold me the police you're going to see how they destroyed me the watch you're going to see how they um, by the by uh, by uh, going over uh, with a corrode uh, the Co with coro they corroded me they corroded me they corroded me um, they corroded me <sighs> belt a uh, watch band uh, a brand new watch band that I would wear for about I don't know maybe two weeks or something like this uh, maybe three weeks I don't know and all of a sudden, the fucking belt would turn like corroded, like completely. It would like the rust would fucking eat one. The parts that that were there, the rust would eat those parts. You got to see that stuff. Uh, and it appears, at least it appears visually, that these two belts are identically painted over with the corrosive, such as its accent. From like battery or something like that that you would. But this belt looks good to me. Um, it looks good to me. It's just this is Tochkanyas Menuya. This is like a procedure, like plastic. Uh, um, Varianya Tochkanya. Uh, a procedure, a plastic procedure that you would use to basically uh, weld, maybe even, I don't know how you would say, like uh, electronically weld, basically, plastic together. It's a very, very powerful plastic material. I highly recommend you guys this stuff. This is really good stuff. I like this belt, man. At least you guys see something unusual. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff involved in MK Ultra. If you would go to the factory and you would look at this stuff here, I am sure you would stuff that you see right there, whatever I'm going to demonstrate. It would not be seen so frequently. So there would be like series of uh, these buckles. Um, I already told you, from Nova Mesta to Ljubljana, at first there was 20, then it was 40, they showed me at the police station. They had 200 belt buckles from Nova Mesta to Ljubljana, the police officer would not even be allowed, when they were purchased from AliExpress, they would not be allowed to wear the fucking buckles, belts they would purchase. They sit at the police station where these idiots would study them. Uh, and involved in the psychiatric hospital with Donna Polia. Oh, I have seen that for the first time I managed to pull that thing out right there. Did you see? Uh, I sort of felt that it shouldn't go out. I was able to pull that out when I was checking how uh, that might be a problem. I don't know what's going to be. That's not supposed to be just like this pulled out. Maybe it's just, it's just a softer plastic, whatever the case might be. Who knows? There are different manufacturers doing this kind of stuff. Uh, oh, well, I'm going to say I am, I'm okay. For, what I, for my needs, it's going to hold on to it. My items, for what I was told, are waiting at the police station. Anywhere from watches, from all the stuff that was stolen... Uh, it's it's much more they're gonna have to provide. We're not gonna stop at the items that Who would have thought that we're going to have a stuff like this going on inside of the European Union, that we're going to be doing this kind of stuff as an American citizen, that we're going to be going through this kind of issues back in the day when I was still a citizen of the Yugoslav Federal Republic. Hmm. 
basically in the same block with uh, U USSR. Who would have thought that we're gonna come, that we're gonna, that we will slip into this shit, into this type of atmosphere? I like the belt, everything nice, fine. The Chinese government, uh, in continuation, I'm gonna explain to you about the cables and so on, the way they brainwash me with how it's gonna be this and that. Uh, if it's going to be, they assured me that uh, any kind of stuff that psychiatrist Peter Kapsch uh, who demanded from them to do, I don't know what kind of stuff. Uh, there is maybe even some kind of damage in respect to that. I don't know what I say on the on the on the video. It could be that's actually even, or is it, or is it not? What the hell is it? It's actually damaged. I think it's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, 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 it would. It would. It would not be just uh, dusty or something like this. But it's actually damaged or something like that. It does look that uh, it was. I wouldn't say in use, but something something happened over there. So we do have an item, and look at that. It's it's quite big, actually. You see this? This is actually the item that's damaged. Probably. It won't make any difference for me. If it's, if it's dirty, it's dirty, but I think it's damaged, actually. I'm gonna maybe even go and see and examine this item to see what's going on with this stuff. I hell I did not anticipate I was going to so it would be easier to do this. Uh, you have those belts inside of the room, whatever, so I'm not even going to do it. Um, this is the first time I get myself a belt like that. They're really beautiful. I've not even tried them on. Um, this is, I don't know, for some kind of an Apple watch or whatever. I don't care what kind of watch. As long as I have a nice belt, I really wanted to have a 20 millimeter watch belt. 
As you have seen, I ordered a 20 millimeter ear mount to see. And they actually gave me 22 millimeters, which is not what I ordered. And, um, oh shit, I have to make stop here. I gotta make stop here. They gave me uh, 22 millimeter because the criminal that met me at the police station, investigator, if you want to call this, come back, stated to me, he stated to me, do you see this? Do you see this? And he demonstrated to me, 22 millimeter and 20 millimeter. And he insisted to me that we will not get you 20 millimeter. You're going to purchase the 20 millimeter, but you will get 22 millimeter. Do you know why? And he demonstrated to me that the one that is 22 millimeter fits on the watch with 20 millimeters and or the one with 20, 20 millimeters. So what you see right there are two belts that are actually stolen from me and replaced with 22 millimeter size. That's what normal mass police investigator who met me at the police station where I went to acquire for assistance in respect to father's medical files in 2022 have insisted me during empty ultra bestiality inside of our house. That was the stuff that he pushed down my throat, that I should just accept this anyways, no matter what. Even if it's 22, it's 20. That was his view. And this is just the way it is. You're going to do me a favor, basically, is what he stated. So, as you see, every fucking item has its bullshit brainwash behind it. I have uh, examined. Uh, I have examined. Uh, I have examined a belt, and uh, all I can say is the belt is just dirty. I have not seen the belt that have any kind of damages. It almost appears as if something something would be, uh, but it's not. It's just it appears just as dirty. Anyways, I am not worried about these guys because at the police station. They're going to refund my fucking items. They're going to give them back. Every fucking one of them. We 
which was actually the issue the police was making that if I would be using uh, items, I would not get another item and so on. Uh, they will be talking about the stuff like this. Yeah, they became so cocky, these investigators from Ljubljana, they demanded from me to accept that whatever item I would be using will not be replaced with another item. And this is not why I'm not using the items which this cretin psychiatrist have selected for me to use. This is not the reason why I'm not doing that. I'm just not using it because I don't fucking agree to any of this stuff. You understand? I'm not using it because I didn't pay for this. I didn't order this. I will use whatever I paid for. I will use whatever I ordered. And I did not purchase from Slovenian police. I purchased from the Chinese AliExpress, not from Slovenian police. This appears to be used, worn out. This appears to be used, worn out, not new. Uh, this is not about only being used and worn out, but this uh, is about the size. One is 20 millimeter and the other one is 22 millimeter. The one that you see right there is 22 millimeter should be in fact 20 millimeter. This is this 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 looks like this was used because I did go and I got myself belts. And I started to compare the belts. Uh, it appears to me it was used. It's what uh, Nova Mesto police investigator, again, the same criminal, insisted me that he would just go for that matter and would just take one of the belts I already have purchased and would have one switched with my new order. So that's every one of this issues was just um, was just simply had a story behind one and you know when I think about the words of the this Thai king Maha Vajaranga Korn uh, who involved himself even with a play with a watch uh, on how you know if you know, you're going to state something, and if it's not going to be in something like this and so on, uh, you know, <laughs> this is not, um, you know, this guy's going to get the fucking court uh, invitation. There's no doubt about that. This individual play with his life, that's all I'm going to tell you. I don't have any friends. I don't have any friends over there in any palace. My only friend is court, police, basically. When it comes to the people like this, no. In a little bit, I'm going to bring the meter and you're going to see what the size of this is. Uh, the problem with this belt is somewhere else. You're going to see uh, why I believe actually this belt would corrode. Why uh, what you see right there, these metal parts uh, appear to me could be uh, well a material uh, that uh, might have been actually Designed in a such a way that it would just is just a matter of corrosion before the corrosion would explode on one. 
I'm going to demonstrate you that kind of stuff. Even that nurse Yanko from Home for Elderly People insisted me, no, no, this is how they come. This is how they come, which we clearly talk about the items, open items and switched items, not new items. We clearly talk about, or at least items that were irregular. And they received, all through, this is not fucking irregular because it became clear that this belt is like soft used belt not new belt we clearly see that this is about something else that something else here is going on slovenian police insisted me that it the chinese became my friends and because they became my friends that they learned about their addresses and they started to send them uh, items that were broken and what you see here which the Chinese side once they came here to Slovenia they simply started to laugh in their face this one appears like more like new Slovenian police officer it's a Slovenian uh, insisted that I should break belts uh, that are used, that are worn out belts. Uh, I don't remember any, any like this, but that belts that are old, that I should just stop them. That he even did me a favor by destroying me belts. You see how it looks like the material? Uh, in a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate you something. I'm going to go and pick it up. Uh, he insisted me that he even destroyed me belts and since he destroyed me belts that i should just go and get myself straps from backpacks and so on uh, and simply use those straps just use this parts and saw them onto those straps and it would be i would have different uh, belt straps that i would use the better uh, straps than other people and so on. That I'm gonna save myself a money like this rather than to go buy myself things. That I should go take needle in my hands. What the fuck? I think uh, they all they according and they all do it like this, and it really looks uh, funky and fun and I don't know what. And that's what I should be doing for my watches and so on. This kind of stuff I have seen before, as I stated, within the two, three weeks, it turned into complete corrosion. It turned into rust. And I no longer could possibly wear one. However, the nurse Yanko from Home for Elderly insisted me that this is just the way the belt come. So then go and find your fucking sanity in all this stuff. And you see how the fuck that looks like. This is not the way the new belts, this is not the way new nylon bands look like. I had not got any bands like that. I didn't get any of it. I always got bands that, uh, that uh, you know, new is new, not uh, like this, what you see right there. Uh, basically, to me, this stuff, the way it appears to me, this stuff, is that uh, something was used to... To cause some kind of uh, damage, basically, or something like that. And, you know, as soon as you would start using uh, uh, this on your hand, uh, it would be a sweat that would, like, trigger the uh, acid or something like that. The humidity, it would trigger one. And then the only thing that happens is the whole fucking thing turns into a rust, basically. They destroyed me the watch. They destroyed me the belt like this. They did a considerable amount of damage. There's no reason for me to to take this like a new items and so on. I got uh, these belts before. 
I haven't seen and wear them and use them, and I haven't seen stuff like this. If this somehow really is that police investigators, the police officers they got in their mail, you know what I mean? If they somehow did have video recorded themselves opening packages like this, it was simply because they ordered Chinese sellers whom they met inside of this house over and over and God knows how many people they met. To ship items in their packages to their homes, to their addresses, and upon this clearly is used, right? You can clearly you can see this shit is used. And upon opening those, do you understand me what I'm saying? They have video recorded themselves with the stuff like this, and because this is they they would complain about that they this is what they received. They received the the stuff that was used and so on. And use this basically to switch the items, use it as an excuse, as a lie, basically. They didn't have no fucking right to go and steal packages from somebody else and, and do the stuff like this. But, you know, like, it looked to me like during MK Ultra that they're going to use this like an excuse and say, well, this is, this is what was sent to us. No, 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 no. Slovenian police demanded from the Chinese sellers to even take belts, my items, their items, to China. And in the future, when I commit myself to future, from whoever from them, send those items to my address. Slovenian police did this. Chinese never did this. And moreover, Slovenian police traveled to China, according to their words. According to their words which they insisted me they took along with them used and fucked up items which in the future chinese would be sending to my address if i would commit myself to certain purposes no no fucking police officer so is a fucking victim of any kind of this stuff like this if anyone else state that they have been cheated they did something like this clearly as you see that's 20 millimeters, and what you're about to see right there is clearly 22 millimeters, right? Because I go and I check uh, the sizing, I do the sizing, I, I take the meter, and you're going to see that. They had so many stories. They, 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 they had so many stories. They, they, such as storytellers. 22 millimeters, clearly. Uh, such a stories. Such a story. They came up with such a such a uh, so inventive so uh, I'm making sure you know I, I want to make sure that the fuck I see I really see correctly so that I'm not gonna and I'm gonna end up seeing something that is not you know what I mean That's I gotta make sure. This is a two hour and ten minutes, and uh... so basically, what I'm doing right now is actually something that I shouldn't be even doing. And I was gonna mention to you earlier what I'm doing. Basically, I am teaching criminals how to how to murder people basically how the stuff is done in slovenia so you can see that slovenia is transmitting crime throughout the globe and this is the worst kind of crime you possibly can imagine for the people to literally lose the trust in their governments in their institutions 
Yeah, Central Intelligence Agency love that kind of stuff. Central Intelligence Agency pays for that kind of stuff. They don't want to do it. In America, they don't want to do it. But they get other people to do this stuff. Like this. So, they take Slovenian flag and they wipe their ass into it against one. Uh, I am actually comparing now uh, the belts to see what the difference is. How can I say, the bands I got are kind of abrasive. The belt uh, that you see right there, the black belt, that's the belt that's being used, uh, well used. Police went on to destroy absolutely everything. They just... Uh, destroy belts, watches, absolutely everything, especially the stuff that I left behind inside of the house. Uh, I got it. I wouldn't even touch one again because before I would start using one, already was destroyed. It didn't make sense for me to cover up for the police. That's what you do. If, if, if it's broken, if it's destroyed, you never use it, don't fucking use it. Even if it's inside of the home, like in a situation like this, because what you're going to do is you're going to cover up for the police. My mom asked me about the tablet. She said, can I have the tablet? Can I have that tablet that uh, you purchased from AliExpress and so on? Can I have that tablet? I said, no, mom. She said, I'm going to pay you. She said, I'm going to pay you 100 euros for it. I said, no, mom. I said, I'm going to go and I'm going to buy you a brand new one for 100 euros. That tablet is garbage. That's not worth it anything. That's a junk. Um, what happens with a belt like this is this here. That's what bent like that comes up. And it's also what I was told during MK Ultra. Once you're going to start using it, it's going to turn like this. Like this here. This was used for about maybe two, three weeks. This is all fucking corroded. This is finito. This is garbage. This is garbage. This is good for the trash bin. This is, there is nothing with this you can do with this. You can throw this in a trash bin and that's all there is to it. So that's why I, I'm not going to go and use belts like this, because it clearly is, right, what, uh, what is there to expect from stuff like that. You can see that my belt, all through it's been used for like three weeks, looks new compared to the other one. But what the fuck you do if the police keep getting inside of your room? You purchase the locks. I purchased the locks from China. I did not understood. You know what they were teaching me when I purchased the locks? They were teaching me about how they have all kinds of instruments and abilities to enter the room and so on. And so I wasted money on really, really cheap, but really, really, I think, actually sophisticated locks without little understanding that it's all open at the police station before I even get in the hands every item goes through their hands. 
this shit is done. I anticipate. Now, no, I don't fucking anticipate anything. This shit is done through the exit. They deliver you the item. The item looks fine the day, the day you get it in your hands. You don't actually even use one. You store one inside of the bag. And when you pull one out next time, it looks like this. So that means that there is stuff and they paint the shit with a corrosive, something corrosive. It probably, I don't know, batteries or whatever. They mentioned me the batteries, the corrosive from the batteries. There is, you see what this shit is? Never wear this watch. I wear this watch totally all together. I've had this watch on my hand for two weeks, maybe. Two weeks, maybe. I, maybe two weeks I had this watch on my hand. Look, how, look what it looks like. That's actually Seiko mechanism inside. With um, it's a cheap watch with uh, good enough for me, better than better than any other watch. The less it costs, the less chances that uh, something will go wrong with it, even if the watch is stolen or whatever. And inside, it's a Seiko, anyways. This is what I was promised I'm going to get. This is a used item, old, worn out by the police officer's item. They cleaned one up. They prepared one up. They give it to me at the postal offices. I put it on my hand. And the next thing you see, I was sorry. Boom. Boom. You know something? Hold on. That's a plastic uh, watch that you see right there. It's a plastic watch. Uh, police investigators, police, Nurse Yanko, you got to see how sadistic, sick, mentally ill people is laughing, having a good time. The only job, the only watch you would allow to have that would, however, not be damaged would be the cheapest watch, if you want, the plastic made, the one from the plastic that is completely plastic. Why? They told me why? Well, because they, they made me ask why. Well, because it's plastic, Bobby. You cannot destroy the plastic. Now I'm going to demonstrate you another watch, which also is, these are watches from TPV, which are actually Seiko mechanisms inside. And they're really, really rust fried. They're not watches that same shit like Seiko they will not go and rust unless you paint them over with the exit they don't look like this when you get them in your hands but they do get like this not like this but over the course of the time I'm going to demonstrate to you based on the ultra even they brainwash me that I have to clean one how quickly and that was a father of Maha Vaira like a porn from the Thai king. The father, his father of Maha Vaira Lingan Korn. Mm, I don't know what the name of this king no good was, but let me see that. Maha Vai Yira Longkorn. This is a Thai king. And that was the father, none other. Bumibol Aduliadei. Bumibol Aduliadei. This is here Aduliadej. Was the one who tutored me. He wanted to know if I have a capacity, if I have ability. Uh, to clean the watch before the exit will eat its housing. Yes? And so they inserted in this, but they, this is this is a fucking lunacy. They inserted in MK Ultra the watch, which they painted uh, the housing where, where the cover comes with an exit for which they warned me, if you will not 
on timely manner clean the fucking housing it will eat one and uh, that's exactly what happened the only thing that you don't have to work the only thing that will work to you is plastic ha 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 remember bobby plastic that's a very expensive sport you know did you notice by the way that every one of these watches that you see right there are all stored in a, a separate bag like that by the way Do you see this shit here? Oh, I changed. Uh, I painted the watch. I wanted to have my own watch, different watch, everything. It sure didn't make any fucking sense because they painted the housing with an exit. And so to save one, to save one, because they, they were presented to me during MKL to this like a sort of contest. The, this was not the only watch. They had other watches they were playing like this. They refer to the issue like a if you will still manage to save the watch. Oh, this this fucking hurts, this lunacy, man. This is this is beyond insane. And the way the police investigators got the idea for this stuff was for back through the battery play by having me by insisting me that not by insisting me, but basically destroy me absolutely everything, destroy me foremost batteries that I had stored inside of the room compelling me to, to carry with me batteries um, replacing me brand new batteries which I would purchase in the store with all worn out batteries imagine this shit you go to the store you buy new batteries you bring it home and your batteries become fucking old now, you do buy the batteries at a discount cost. Yes, you do. But that still doesn't mean that they are fucking old and no good. So, why would the local stores sell for a really ridiculous cost? Really good batteries, such as from Philips and, and that kind of stuff. Why the fuck would they do that kind of stuff? Well, it actually pays off because you bring them home. And the batteries disappear, they are fucking stolen. And they're replaced with batteries that are fucking old, worn out batteries that are up to no fucking good. And so what that tells you? What that tells you is that you have to take the batteries with you. And what else that tells you? It tells you that you have to store these batteries someplace. And I did so. I bought the hearing aid and stupidly I went ahead and I stored batteries into the bag, uh, several batteries into, into like a bigger bag, and it was identical to MK Ultra brainwash, during which I would hear boom, boom, I would hear. Uh, this battery, however, was stored inside of the boxes with the bag, uh, and I couldn't figure out. So this is the only watch they told me that it will be okay. To have a <laughs> plastic watch like that for a dollar or something uh, and so i went ahead and i didn't know what the fuck went on what's what's fucking happening and then i learned that the batteries you cannot put them together in the box if you put them in together in 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 uh, in a vinyl in in uh, in a bag in a uh, next to one another they have tendency to corrode and explode. But guess what happened next? 
Uh, this is the type of stuff that was actually used for what you see right there. Police anticipated the answer for every vandalizing, for everything they would vandalize. They had their own explanation. They have a, they, this shit, basically all the damage, they just, in their own views, they just connected the damage with one another, and they wanted to portray this like, like, like some kind of virus, basically jumping from one, from one, uh, from one item to the other until everything is fucking destroyed. This is what this mastermind basically have uh, anticipated that he would get out of this, and at the end that he would confess on how he actually did have something to do with it. I'm afraid he's not going to have that kind of honor. And so this is pretty much the end of the video. Um, I am troubled with something else. I am troubled with... Uh, I am still going to try to correct some of the issues. I don't know if I will succeed in it. I'm just demonstrating you now what the new belts look like. And definitely that's a 22 millimeter. I, I was just going to go and run for the meter to demonstrate to you that they actually did send me the fucking 22 millimeter, not 20 millimeter belt. So I'm using that like for comparison. You understand? So that you can, you, uh, let me see that. So that you see that this is the same, the same, the same size. You see it? It's 22 millimeter. Uh, this is actually the issue I have been recorded somewhere else. I think. Okay, I don't know how much I uh, really succeeded in demonstrating that kind of stuff, but I did manage to get something else. I managed to get meter and the two belts. Anyways, I, I was so sure that I actually did. Um, I was really, really sure that I actually did manage to somehow really record that stuff successfully, but Years, you know, this is the belt. This is the first time I purchased this kind of belt. I don't know how this is going to perform. According to police investigators, it's very good. So I'm going to take like this, take this off, and we'll take the meter. We'll set one at two, like this.
Hmm. Now I don't know basically what you see. What do you what do you get to see here? Uh, you get to see this, or you don't get to see this. Okay. So this is not this is not twenty. This is twenty two, and this is what the police investigators have stated me. This absolutely, absolutely. Look at this. Do you see my finger behind it? It's coming out. This here is my finger, and uh, that one that's supposed to be like guaranteed that it's actually measured. It looks 22. There is nothing I can do. This is 22. Oh, I have to make sure that this line is parallel. Not such a damn easy task, really. Kind of funny, hey. Okay, there you go. First, uh, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> the best for me to use is actually a clippers, something like this, and yeah, I will do the job real fast. And so that should be then it. That's 22. And this is this is by this is identical. This is identical stuff. This is all right. Let's do this one as well. Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay. Clearly, you can see 22. That one is matching, and then um, this one is matching. Okay, sorry. This one is matching, and this one here is indicating 22. For what I was told by uh, police officers, <laughs> criminals with police batteries from Norway, I told them it will actually it will do me a favor because this fits on 20, 20 millimeter and also on 22 millimeter. Now, to close this video, I'm not going to say bye-bye just like this, but I will go down to this website right here, and I will open this order here, and I will demonstrate to you that I actually did order Two pieces of 20 millimeters and two pieces of 20 millimeters. Two, four pieces of 20 millimeter. And I'm going to copy paste it here. 
like this, like this, so that you can see this. Do you see it? It says 20 millimeter. This is this year. What is it? Uh, the green and the the green and the what is this here? Black and green, really? Black and green. And this year is yellow and blue. And so you see this is yellow and blue. Um, they also are 20 millimeters. And instead, they would deliver me 22 millimeters. So you see that these are wrong items. And uh, I don't know, when it comes to, uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, uh, to the quality itself, uh, I hope I have also demonstrated what kind of stuff that they sent me, the difference between the stuff they sent me, the difference, and what I actually ordered, the difference is quite, the difference is quite evident, it's quite visible. Well, you have seen that already. The new belts, the new belts, what can I tell you? I'm going to demonstrate you a few new belts, some of which are not even new. Uh, but I'm going to demonstrate to you what the difference is between the new and between something that you used. Ready to rust the load. I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, I have these belts here. Yeah. What is uh, what what new looks like? Uh, it looks like this. I'm gonna demonstrate to you. Okay, the new the new looks like this. Okay, the new is this here. Uh, if I'm gonna make it, I, I already demonstrated you that stuff. I don't know how much you're gonna how much you can see this stuff here. This is new. This this is new. This is not new. This is used. It, it actually looks like new. This is new. This is what you call new. You see it? Look at it. This is new. This is new. This is a new stuff. Here you have actually Thailand is belt watch band i'm not going to be using one i never used one this is going to go for sale actually bye bye there you go that's your new that's new if you be order something like this, they wouldn't be touching. Whether that would be stuff like from Thailand or Italy or something like that. They don't. They don't touch the stuff like this. They touch other kind of stuff. They With this kind of stuff, they don't. With the flags, they don't dare to play. They don't play with the flags. They don't play with this kind of stuff. They don't play with Italian flags. You know? <laughs> this is a chicken shit. Chicken shit is what this is. This kind of stuff they target. Mm -hmm. This here, yes, this. 
this kind of stuff this this is this is what's tempting to them this well yeah, i already did the demonstrated you so you don't see it i'm not even uh, i don't have a capacity through this camera to demonstrate it the same like with the telephone the telephone did a good job let that be part number two so that you understand basically how they run the business how they they do their job how they do the stuff um and by the way even even if i would go out there and say oh well you know even out of <coughs> shit, i'm having a problem now started to choke me um five hours ladies and gentlemen almost five hours and a half that's about where you go to work right and you come back almost two hours and a half more and that's it take break in two hours more and you go home even if I would make mistakes even if I would talk stupidities the MK Ultra it's not MK Ultra MK Ultra is like excuse for this shit this is about the worst crime against humanity there is it's have you ever served military i'm sure that you all were in the school have you ever seen how somebody would be picking up on a child or on somebody in the military maliciously seeing guys doing something to somebody like with a bed or with something whatever the case might be what about if somebody's doing this shit to you all, all your entire life like this and it goes beyond that stuff it goes into because i have gone through that stuff i've gone through that stuff i told you about how it was i told you about like going against 10 kids and 20 kids entire classroom i told you about these things how this shit was in military almost the same how about if somebody's going and is doing this kind of stuff to you maliciously like this damage to you all the fucking time and i'll tell you what it is the penalties for this traditionally always were greater then if you would go out there and kill the person if you would go and kill the person you kill the person but point here is of these british royals is to kill the person through something that's actually more criminal more in front of the court more criminal in front of the court in front of the legal court much more criminal far more criminal than a murder itself that's why i am not interested in your fucking money that's why i am interested in the police and in the court my job is to get you to the court my job is to make sure that you don't pose threat to other people because you are dangerous you kill people there's been a lot of people dead there's been all kinds of shooting all kinds of stuff that went on through united states you can read about rampage shooting all kinds of issues going happening even in europe and my job is to come to this to an end there's a lot of homeless people it's all kinds of stuff that's going on and you have to be held responsible with that kind of stuff you can't go out there and do this kind of stuff if you think mk ultra is a cancer a poisoning a liver problem a kidney problem a torture i'm 52 years old i had no life 
It's absolutely destroying person, decimating person in every step of the way. Thanks for watching this video. I don't have anything else I would say. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch insisted on other issues. There are too many to count. All right. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to take date and time, and that's about it. That was basically part two of two, uh, the part of the video that I would not even come to an end when I, would, when I started one, uh, that I had really a problem finishing the video. Uh, I didn't know how the hell I'm going to do it. I didn't know what to do. I was contemplating and on sound and on this and on that. And I feel comfortable that I did give you a good taste of what Slovenian police hopefully you never will do in whatever country you're from. Stuff like this to your people. Uh, hopefully you get some lesson about what police never should do. And when it comes to this here, I'm really, really pleased because, you know, I covered, I know that uh, I got him. January the 25th, 2024 is when the theft occurred at the postal office in Novo Mesto. The seller stated to me, please go to the Novo Mesto yesterday when I, when I, please go to the postal office Please go one more time. Please, please go one more time. The watch is over there for sure it is. Uh, the watch 100% is awaiting you. Uh, I, I did. I, I contacted them. I, I wrote them a fucking letter. Uh, I wrote these people a letter. I Here's the letter. Express One Hungary and or Slovenia. I sent both of them. I sent the email to them. To Hungary, I send them the email to Slovenia. I did contact that. I even went ahead and contacted this one express and so on, and they don't answer. These people don't fucking answer anything. It's like uh, they, you know, they try to redistribute the blame, the fault for one another. That's how they operate because nobody wants to be guilty. So he says to me here, friend, please go to the local post office and check. They did afterwards, according to MK Ultra, give me the watch once I went. Uh, it was many scenarios they involved in it. But facts are facts, and it's as I stated in the video. Uh, what you see here is a theft. I will go to the postal office. I will go to the postal office, but I will go with the postal office with the police. I will go to the postal office and to the police with the same credentials as a police minister, as a minister of the police in Slovenia has. No less, I will go to the police and to this postal office to retrieve my items. Because I will not allow police officers who did this shit to investigate my work, stuff, my investigation, the stuff I have provided the public with. I'm not here to babysit criminals. Oh, that being said, I don't have anything else I would add to this. There is a date and time. There you go. Enough to upload this, maybe get some exercise, and off to bed, sleep. In my case, exercising before the bed is not even healthy. With my problem, uh, exercising before the night is not a good thing. It's not the best thing. But there you have it.